Did you hear the ending or did it, uh, was it gone for me or just, uh, no, we didn't hear anything. It was gone for everybody. Right? I didn't hear a single thing. Jack. Because we're like Pavlov. It's a Pavlovian thing for Ryan and I, Jack, unless we hear the doogie doogie bow, like the whole boo thing. We don't know how to, I can't how do we even start the show? You want to start again? I, do. Uh, I don't know if Jack's ready to start again. Picky, picky point, uh, chick -a -point. Or you know what, Jack? Maybe if you just did that. Yeah, you do the, just, the noise. Just kind of do a... <laughs> I don't hear the... <laughs> well, the intro didn't work. I didn't hear, hear it at all. all. Yeah, I didn't know. I heard it start, then stop, then start, then stop, then start. And then <laughs> right at the end, it just... Uh, cold turkey yeah yeah rabbit rabbit no ah. yesterday i know i just Sorry wasn't sure i was 90 percent sure you rabbit rabbited yesterday yeah we yesterday. did we uh, we threw out That's... a rabbit rabbit actually somebody in the uh, in the old uh the the chat the comment no the uh, rabbit rabbit oh yeah yeah Dirty. Yeah, yeah 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 i don't like yeah, that yeah. at all uh welcome to the show i guess i think it's on uh it's a uh, tuesday of something uh, april ish yeah 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 april the two April two, Groundhog Day. I hope that I hope he sees a shadow or not. What did that? Didn't that bastard say we had early spring? I don't know what he said. There's a bunch of them too. There's one in Quebec. There's Balzac Billy. Yeah. There's the one in the states. Puxatani Phil. Shub like, Shubanakity Sam. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know who to trust. It's weird, and I, I get. I'm an adult. I, I should pay closer attention, but I've just kind of over the years, I've kind of just tuned it out. It's almost like you don't. I don't mm -hmm. put a lot of stock into it. And I, like, I don't want to make this a political thing. <laughs> we got boss. talking about the mayor getting booed yesterday. And then that started. Oh, did you? I don't, I don't need to. That was uh, in, like, in terms of the caliber of boo, that was approaching Adam Fox level. I don't know that um, I had that on my bingo card. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Again, here we are. Here talking to the second straight day. Um, yes. So we, as we said, that was soundly booed. Yeah. Yeah, I would like call, I was in the building that, and it was it was wow. A chorus of boos a the lot boors, of times yeah. is how that's uh how that's referred to. Anyway, sorry, I don't want to bring it back up. I, friggin' Nenshi. Friggin' Nenshi. Um and then we got talking about you know the the, the kind of the carbon tax and you know that was oh cool. that probably went really well, yeah. Yeah, we we really didn't, but it was just kind of one of those things. Oh, the mayor got booed and today's the carbon tax. I hope you felt it car. Mm. Anyway. Fellas, Fellas, get your helmet on. It's a Flames game day today as the Anaheim Ducks come to town to take on the Calgary Flames. The once relevant Ducks are indeed in Calgary tonight. Hang on. I got to uh, just bear with me. Yeah, I, I think I, I did some notes. Going here. No, no, no. I uh, But I need to give it a, so just uh, hang on. I'm going to do a little print here. Printy, printy, printeroo. I thought you were going to hit the uh, one of the sound buttons. You could either go with oh, there's a plenty, yeah, or yeah, like a toilet plenty. flush. Um, here we go. Um, I just want to. That's your printer sound effect button. Nicely done. Well played. Because you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. The details, and I would hate to get this wrong. Right. Jesus Christ! The Ducks have one win in their last thirteen games. What? <laughs> One and 13. Uno Victorio in their last, uh, yeah, it's one 11 and one. And oh. they've also managed in the 13. So it's 12, ga you know, 12 game, 12 losses in there. Uh, only one of them was in extra time. So they're cornering the market in regulation defeats. I was going to say it's been a rough road oh, swing for them, but it's been a rough month. For them. <laughs> yeah. Good heavens. They have, I mean, their record is 20, 24, 47, and 4. Only so they, the Sharks have more losses, and it's 49. They're locked into a top three uh, draft lottery slot, Dino. They'll be happy to know. I'm sure Pat Holy Verbeek is jumping. thrilled, grinning ear to ear, chatting up people at the uh, water yeah. cooler station in yeah. the Honda place mm -hmm. center thing. Now in there for uh, if we so yeah numbers can tell you whatever you know, you spin them right like that go figure me Mister Negative yeah would trot out a 
one win in their last 13 games. Well, yeah, I mean, but, right? Um, they've lost five in a row. Yeah. It's oh, And that one extra point that they got was in this five-game stretch. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, so they're hot. So they lost five in a row. And then before that, they got a win. So why don't I say they have... They were one, four, and one in their last six. I could do that. You sure could, yeah. Even uh, one, three, and one in their last so five. So then you take the that. win away, and now, oh, you're just you're just focusing on the losses, you negative mm. prick. And I guess you're right. Again, sorry about the politics. Apologize right. about the Groundhog Day on April 2nd. Yeah. And I'm going to try and frame this a little bit better for the Anaheim Ducks. Would this be a good time to bring up the Flames record against the bottom five teams in the NHL? Or no? Oh, see, who's negative now, huh? Uh, what do you got for me? Well, I mean, it's it's been it's a long time ago, but essentially, well under five hundred. The let's go to the bottom five teams and have a little chit chat about let's how things go have gone. Five. There we go. Let's do it. Uh, San Jose, they're one and one with, I believe. Is that correct? I don't know. They played. They lost that one where Dustin Wolf wasn't great. Maybe that's the only time they played. I think that's the only because they play twice here. Play twice the more. The season, so. They do play some division rivals four times, but maybe not the Sharks this year. Blackhawks, uh, one win, two losses. Hoof. Yeah, Ducks, yeah. they're one and zero against. And Columbus, they they were swept in the season series, lost both. Yeah. Um, and then after that, you're kind of in a murky Ottawa, Montreal, Arizona scenario where I don't really know who the fifth is. So the bottom four teams are clear cut in the league. They're under 500 against those four teams. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, it's clearly get right night for the Ducks tonight, and it would help the inverse. So let's go. They, I mean, I was, I was just going to say they're, they seem to maybe be on the right path, but it's hard to argue. The Ducks? What I'm saying is for the second straight year, the hockey news has come out and said, this is the best farm system in the National Hockey League. Hmm. And a number of the young players who would make up the, the future are playing for them right now. And yeah. some are on the way. Cutter Goche is in the Frozen Four with Boston College. He, of course, yeah. was a Philadelphia Flyer and said, you know what? I don't like the flyers uh so they I made don't that like trade. Danny he said wow Jesus yeah Oof. but they have they are spinning out the uh the young the youngsters uh, they had Olin the Zellweger scored his first yeah. uh, NHL goal the other night he was uh when was he drafted uh, a couple years ago yeah uh, Leo Carlson we've talked about he got injured this year Pavel Mintyukov you're going to hear a lot of these names if you listen or watch yes. the, the game tonight so they are doing I would say a decent job of getting guys that they've acquired into the lineup. It's a young, this is a young Ducks team. Yes. And I, I think they were kind of there five years ago as well. And that reload didn't really work because the Richie and. Well, that's a, that's a long time ago. Mahura. No, this is, this is like since gets off and Perry left and they oh, stopped. Okay. Being, yeah. Like I, I thought you were years. talking more about the more recently, because even you could argue the, the Zegris. Yes. Yeah. That crop like that Perry's crop. turned out to a good player, but they almost have nothing else to speak of when I think four or five years ago, we we're looking at San Diego thinking, Oh man, when all these kids get up to the big, the big times, look out for this team. I'm not looking to argue, but, but the Richie, like there's gets laugh Perry. Then there was the Richie crew. Then there's the Terry and Zegris. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. And uh, I would say to, now we're to, into yeah. the, whatever yeah. you want to call it, Leo Carlson. Yeah, kind of. and so they had the defenseman of the year in the WHL, the OHL, and the QMJHL last right. year. Like they have good young prospects. They've been there before with good young prospects. So they need good young NHLers, and that's where it's been a challenge because even Zegris looks like a shadow of the guy we saw two years ago. It's wild. four goals, four, four goals, sorry, and uh, eight points. Four goals, four assists in twenty-four games. Now he was injured, and I guess it takes Clearly. time when you come back. Yeah. Um, but it has not been, and it's not just this year. He came in flashy. Michigan goals, the yep. between the legs stuff. And I guess we did, did we get captivated by it? Did we kind of like look what's in the left hand when there's nothing in the right? I don't know. But uh, this, I, I didn't think Zegris, the bottom was going to fall out quite like this. Yeah, it's it's remarkable to see a player at that age do the things he did and then look pedestrian in, in the following seasons. And that's what he's done, which is shocking. I mean, he's 23. Last year and the year prior, 23 goals, 23 goals. So, I mean, maybe. And it just feels like they're going to sell low on this guy because he's not a Verbeek guy. Mm -hmm. And it feels like everyone's wondering about character issues, whether they're there or not. Go get right? him. Connie, go get him. Oh. Go get him. 
What you gonna pay him? And what is he? In terms, of what am I paying to get to get him or pay well, to both? Because uh, it's like I'm sure his agent and he think he's a star. You know what? I I'm not worried about the contract. Yeah, they have cap space. They have lots what of cap space. I think that you can you're going to find a bridgey type of a deal. Mm. And acquisition cost would be interesting, wouldn't it? It would be. Is he center or winger? Yeah, I don't know. He's lined up on the wing tonight, and that's not a good a sign for Zegers at 23 when Leo Carlson and Mason McTavish, who are younger than him, are playing the middle. Yeah. Flames have pl plenty of, I mean, is uh, Sharon Govich, center, winger. The more the the, the uh, more the more common one now is uh, Connor Zary. Uh, do, do I, you I think what they have in him to the middle here over the last uh, X number of games to see what he's got. What they have is a lack of centers, so they're trying to squint and make wingers center. That's I what they have. There's not a lot of centers that they're like, oh, he could also play the wing. It's like, boy, we only have two real NHL centers in Kadri and Backlund. Who can we play down the middle? And to be yeah. fair, Sharon, Sharon Govich has done a good job of it, but I still don't think he's a center. Go, go slot him on Colorado. He's not playing the middle. Oh, I understand, Ryan. Yeah. I, I know. Um, how many minutes are we in here? 12 minutes or so into the show. Uh, I do have to throw the brakes on. Okay. Um, probably too far into the show to not talk about uh, ear face. Apologies to those on the audio only podcast portion. Yeah. Uh, but it's been 12 minutes and it's come up in the comments and there's it's just, it, it's time to talk about it. Uh, your face. I don't know what leprosy is, but I feel like this would look like leprosy. Mm. Is, what, what is that? Is that when body parts fall off or what is yeah, it? You're, it's your leprechaun and then something happens. I don't know. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm a it's leper. Like day. You love that green beer. So that's what green beer does. Turns your face. <sighs> Because the, the schnoz was out in the sun a lot the last two days, and uh, this area was covered, which right, left yeah. it uh, white as a ghost, and this part burnt, and then the beard. Because you you know what it kind of reminds me of? Like some sort of a, a swamp animal. I know you're fond of it's snakes. A raccoon. And it's like you've been sitting in water or something. A marsupial, maybe? Like a, like an alligator. Oh yeah, yeah. Kinda, right about there with just your eyeballs above the water. Like I'm a toilet snake and I'm just looking around. <laughs> and then you come up, <laughs> one of these sorts of things. Oh well, just needed to address it. Sorry, it, it'll improve over the course of the week. Uh, over the course of the week, I'm sure. But yeah. uh, for today, definitely uh, noticeable yeah. for sure. Now I feel like maybe are you leaning into it? Because a lot of times you'll have the sunglasses and a hat on. Where today it's. I don't usually no hat, no glasses. glasses for the show. It would be like uh, for the Blue Jays opener. It just the vibe was good. Is that and what it was? When I'm hungover or hammered. Those are the only three times I wear sunglasses. Blue Jays. Yes. Two and three. What happened? Did I? Because I, I, I didn't watch the game yesterday. Well, it was something April Fool's. You got duped by a headline, Dean. And did something happened. Careful. Blue First Jays of the month, yesterday. people make up fake news. You, you got to really be careful and you scroll and you'll find out April Fool's didn't actually happen. Because I kept, uh, as you say, scrolling and it seemed like there were a lot of people, mm -hmm. Blue Jay fans, really not enchanted with how things went. Yeah. No hitter. <laughs> now, in fairness, it wasn't yeah. a perfect game. No, I did see someone running towards second as that ground ball right. came into the glove of the man who completed the game. Altuve, who was it? Holy smokers. Not ideal. Yeah, I mean, the, the Jays remain the team they were last year, which is a very good pitching team and a team that has a tough time hitting. And they're currently missing their setup man and their closer. I don't know. I'm, I, I thought it was a very pedestrian offseason. They're still eighth in World Series odds. I don't know what to make of it. Yeah, it, it feels like, because that was the other thing that I read a lot yesterday, is uh, fans were, um, well, here, here's, uh, this was Chris Johnston of whatever, does it, what is he? CJ is an insider for TSN and writes hey, to The Athletic. Yeah. Is his tweet or his submission to X. It's almost as if the Blue Jays front office put up their feet for an entire offseason after removes, removing Jose Barrios uh, through 47 pitches of a dominant playoff start. And I <laughs> had forgotten about that, kind of. Um, had you? <laughs> I had not. Uh, so, right, because they removed Barrios and then it was really not great. It feels very uh, emotional. I don't see Chris uh, having these kinds of tweets on hockey. It's interesting. No, he's, it's, he's, he's, he's a very unemotional fan. Yeah. In baseball, but logical reporter for hockey, be better, CJ. 
Uh, so yes, he seems to the uh, inactive off season feel that you have shared by others. Yeah, it feels like there was a unicorn budget for Shohei Otani and a don't get Shohei budget. And there was not <laughs> a lot of money in the non Shohei budget, uh, although apparently a lot in the Shohei budget. I don't know how to make sense of that, but um, yeah. See that's uh, see, and Dan, I'd forgot Daniel about Vogel that too. And uh, yeah, Turn. you know, you were very excited about Joey Votto. I love Joey Votto when he was a major league baseball player. I don't know that he is anymore. He's oh, I wasn't. Player. I thought. I just thought you would have been more. No, excited. it's the same thing with Justin Turner. It's like, yeah, when these guys are in their prime, not when they're thirty-seven. Fuck, forty. What are we talking about here? Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're nice names. Are they good players at this point of their career? I don't know. Like, I love Joey Votto on the social medias. I think he's a great Canadian. Uh, you needed to go get this guy when he was hitting 30 bombs a year and hitting 300. That's when you needed Joey Votto, not now. Yeah. Um, but I mean, they have a very good pitching staff still. Uh, their big free agent signing is a Cuban who they're starting at AAA to get him stretched out. He didn't pitch all last year. He pitched in Asia prior to that. Uh, he'll probably end up being their five. Manoa needs to turn into something or go away. Uh, they're not going to hit a lot. I don't think. They might hit enough to win and be good, but oh, see, this everything's going to be on pitching. It's, it doesn't take long. Ah, uh, yes, what? Toronto. You see the chat there. It's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I see people calling for everyone to this and that, and it's five games in. Christ. We don't know. No, I think it's just people like, don't want us to talk about Toronto or anything. Well, I'm sorry. Like, do you like baseball? Do you like baseball? Calgary's favorite baseball team in a landslide is the Toronto Blue Jays. I, I, I don't hate what's, I, I think what's happened is we, whether we've tried to or not, have really kind of positioned ourselves as a hockey show. Because I remember when we had Arash Madani on mm. at the Super Bowl. Yeah. And we were talking about uh, in Vegas, the big game coming up. And people in the chat were like, "What? Why are we talking about this? Why, why are we talking about football in a hockey show? What's happening here?" And people, yeah. despite the whatever the quality of this discussion may or may not have been, people were very upset that we stopped talking about um, what's uh, you think Noah Hannafin's going to sign for like eight minutes to talk yeah. to her Ash the Super Bowl, yeah, biggest sporting <laughs> event in North America, yeah. Jesus, hey, maybe we, uh, fine. We'll lean into it. I, whatever people want. Your Yankees look good, or at least the, the, I haven't seen the moment of them play, but the record looks good. What the hell are they doing? Uh, I was very hopeful with that Garrett Cole injury that things would settle the fuck down. But this just in, Juan Soto, good player. Very good player. Good and takes walks. Player. Like, does not get out very often. That's a very nice skill in baseball. Uh, clutch hits. And he's doing a lot of this. Looking at the dugout. Yeah. Like, now, it, the whole thing is, Sign him right now. Yeah, that's what San Diego this said. This guy that's what, was born to be a Yankee. This guy. A... <laughs> I, I agree. Like, de de if, you, if you can do it. It's just yeah. the last two teams had lots of money and couldn't get it done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Nationals wanted to sign him. They offered him $300 million. San Diego would have thrown a huge amount of money at him, and now he's a Yankee, and they'll try to throw a huge amount of money at him. I don't think he's wrong in going to free agency, right? Yeah, but is he doing that? We'll, we'll see. Unless he wants to be a Yankee. Uh, he likes winning. Uh, oh, no. KQ is jumping in here. A uh, golf talk. Yeah, it's golf. You know, should we talk? Uh, Masters golf? coming up. We're I really know. close. Next yes, week we is are. Masters week. That's right. Who's your horse? Um, Really like VJ Singh. He will play, I believe. Yeah. Let's really like VJ. Mike Weir. Weir will Lefty. play. Yeah. Weir's Perfect. long odds. You'll like get some good numbers on those guys. I, uh, I have to admit, I, uh, I have. Because I think there, were, there was a stretch, and it's a, oh, we're going to talk about golf. Mm, up day, um, look. And I think a lot of us, Tiger, Mike Weir, that oh, was yeah. a, like that was a sweet spot. F knew every guy on the tour, like the whole thing. It's like, oh, this mm. guy's this guy. But did you see him here? Was everything? I I profess to not being over head over heels into. To, so for me to tell you who's who's playing, yeah, or who who's the, well, the odds on winning? I what's unique now. Time is because of the live thing. I think the tours I lost know. a lot of juice and momentum, but yeah. the Masters is one of those events where you get everyone in terms of like the best of live and the best of the tour because it's not a tour event. It's yeah. I guess the National runs a tournament. It's not a PGA event. It's not a Royal and Ancient. It's not a... Who you got, Pinder? 
Kemp Smith, I always like. Uh, Scotty Scheff Scheffler's unreal. Um, yeah. And then, I like Scotty Scheffler because I feel like he's from Strathmore and you see him at the Stampede, job. right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like that's... The, he could be doing, uh, like, tie-down roping or whatever. Yeah. That's what I go with. Yeah. I, yeah, so, I've, I've not looked at the field and the numbers, but it's uh, it's exciting for golf fans because rather than seeing some guys here and some guys here, you get everyone. You haven't looked at the... Up. God damn it. Let's I thought you right were a reporter. Well, I'm, I got to go throw a few bucks down and get the Masters. I'm going to watch it. You may as well have some fun. <laughs> but that way right now. Let's see what we got. Yeah. yeah. So Ducks, uh, Ducks Flames tonight. We're going to do this one at, uh, what, 7 o'clock? Please tell me 7 o'clock. 7. Please, 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 please. It's not on my DoorDash show. What's on the menu? Interestingly, so I don't want to not? time next to it. And it didn't get into my Betway bets. I kind of forgot. Oh yeah, we usually kind of on Flames game days mm. go in there. I mean, yeah. don't, don't let anyone tell you what to do, Dean. You, do you, you would have been proud of me yesterday. Okay. And by proud, I mean disgusted as usual. Okay, good. I did a loser parlay. Loser parlay. Oh you yeah. Just go and take a bunch of the heavily favored. Well, yep. Colorado's playing Columbus. Oh, it was obviously. a tough day for that. Right? <laughs> it was a very tough day. So what we that. did, Ryan. Is uh, and I actually now that I think of it, it would have been funny to grab the uh, the clip. Don't do it, Jack. You jerk. Jack. Uh, suffice to say, I thought we're going to take the Avalanche. Yep. We're going to take the Oilers over to Blues. Yep. We are going to uh, what else did I have? The Lightning are playing the Red Wings, so they're no good. And uh, the Rangers against the Penguins. Bingo, bango, bongo. Individually, yeah, yeah, no yeah. value. You slap them together. Yep. It was going to pay out a little bit decent. Big um, Blue Jackets, 4-1 over the Avs. Rangers huh? lost to the Penguins, 5-2. Indeed. The Red Wings doubled up Tampa, 4-2. And the Oilers lost in overtime. Yeah. So that's... Uh, actually, let me find... That falls into the category of... Uh... I thought you were going to shovel yourself, to be honest. Because... <laughs> If you just oh take God. all those underdogs, you would have made a handsome yeah. ransom. Is there anything else that I could? Uh, Boo! That, that, yeah. Whatever negative. Uh, God damn it. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. uh, you blew it! You get the idea. I do get it. Yeah. Top three at the Masters, Dean Scheffler, McElroy, and Rom. And I don't see Cam Smith. The Aussie must be uh, on a honeymoon or hurt or something. So Scheffler, Maybe. McElroy, and Rom. I three. hope he's on a honeymoon. Yeah, me too. Right? With that Not mullet? Hurt. Bet she's got a babe. He's making hundreds of millions. Yeah. Oh, Golf guys. An Aussie, eh? an Aussie Sheila. Golf guys get all the babes, you know? All the babes. Most of them are nerds, but that, that Camp Smith. I'd, are I'd, they really? I'd, I'd tip a few with him. Well, I don't know. Nerds is the wrong word. They're just preppy, right? Yeah. Country club kids. But Camp Smith's got the mullet. He goes and drinks with the caddies. That's my guy right there. Really? Yes. The caddies are the animals. Because I feel like you kind of fall into the country club kind of, you know. I mean, I, I definitely have been a member at a country club before, but I, I, I did not feel like that was my peeps necessarily. Yeah. Um, well, you're doing the shoey. I'd hammered with the caddies. Come on now. Yeah. You know me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Noah wants to boom. How's your golf game? Uh, well, Noah, uh, I've not played in about two, two years. And he was prior saying, to that, I think I had about one round per year. Well, that ends that, that at might about be it. Yeah, yeah, and it would be at a charity event where I stop playing at about hole 13 or 14 and just play music yes. and drink, uh, you know, seltzers Origins. or something like that. Yeah, those hard iced teas from Origin. Mm, perfect. Goal. Ryan? Yeah. This year, though, it's my year. To quit on the 13th this, hole and no. iced teas. Yeah, I know. No, this every is, year you say this. The, do I, Is it every year? Yes, it is, yeah. And, and here's the thing, like, people that don't know you that well. And I didn't know this for a while. You're a gearhead. So you'll go out and spend like over a thousand dollars on golf equipment and use it like once a year. In, I am playing clubs yeah. that, that were used in the 1980s by my father. And like, I, I am uh, just incredibly amused at how much you'll spend on gear that you may or may not have any interest of using. Yeah. I, I went and I bought, uh, because you know what it is. You get on the internet and you go down the rabbit hole. It's like the technology is unbelievable. You got to check. So I've got some mm, kind of tailor maids with graphite shafts and sure, the yeah. old deal. I so you're good do... now, I bet, eh? Nah. Nah? Also, it's almost like the operator is more important I, than the club. Weird. I could use a new driver. I could use your now driver. Now that you mention. What are you doing with your old driver? 
I'll give you half price right now. <laughs> yeah, you do. yeah, you Take do. Yeah, you do. it. As long as you're not a lefty. I'm not a lefty. I'll, half price right now. I'll let you know. Mm. I'll let you know. Guess I know what I'm doing this afternoon. Shopping. <laughs> you're gonna put that driver on eBay. <laughs> you're no, uh, you know what? If I uh, if I find something, I'll give it to you. <sighs> I need a driver. I broke my driver. Oh no! Around yeah. a tree. Well, it was. Uh, Probably over a decade. It was at the old shop and some local Nike rep I never met dropped mm -hmm. one of those Nike drivers. That's how long ago it was. Nike was making drivers back then. Hey, you know what? And I know which one. You're, it's that yellow one, right? Yes. And the neon is now back if that thing wanted to work. But yeah. it's like the head's not uh, staying on. And I'll, I'll give you an update. Mm. You don't need a new driver. You've been needing a new driver. Correct. This yeah, is not a long. late developing story or situation. You've yeah. been needing a driver for a yeah. while. It's like, but the irons need to be regrooved. That's how incredibly heavily used they were by the prior owner or two. Well, I'll say this, you know, if, and it's certainly not looking to curry favor because mm. I hate that. Yeah. When people do that sort of thing. But here you've got two guys that uh, their golf game needs some serious help. They love the sport, Dean. Love the sport, but the gear, it's a challenge. Yeah. That if if somebody out there is you know connected in some way, shape, or form to a golf, you know, company or equipment, it may make it on the show. Uh, and yeah. we and we may even go out and use said gear, right? And and get video and have some fun and that footage, Film. yeah, might make it on the show. Could even get all the way to YouTube. I'm told. It could, it could be big. It could yeah. go viral. I've been thinking about playing uh, 25 year old blades again this year, but maybe it is oh, time. No, for Ryan, change. Ryan, you need new gear, but okay, thank you. where does one go? How do you start? Hmm. What, what would a nice, what, what kind of a place or manufacturer or brand should I be into? I wonder. Hmm. Yeah. And that's what it is for me. As I get on in years, I should be embracing the game of golf, you really but should instead do. I've gotten, I, I've grown further away from the game of golf and I miss it. But again, it's. It, it's master's week next week, Dean. It's time to turn that attitude around. Remember at the old shop? Uh, uh, yeah, you can't, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. you can't be doing that. <laughs> that uh, was a gratuitous rub down. Uh, uh, you can't be doing that. Uh, sales is angry. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you do end up getting something, uh, it's going to be a charity. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tax benefit. benefit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Fangirls. Yeah. Oh, feels good. Feels good. Welcome yep. to the golf show, folks. It's a new show. Golf show. What you talk about hockey for sake? Service Credit Union. The big share is back for the sixth year. It's your chance to win a million dollars just by saving money. Anyone can enter by becoming a member and saving with service. Every $500 saved gives you five entries into the Service Big Share contest. Here's a few quick ways. Mm. Listen up. Save in a daily banking account. Fast track your savings with a high yield savings account. Invest in a GIC service has during this contest period with great interest rates and term lengths. Save in a TFSA or RRSP for those short and long-term goals. First, end of the day, listen up. Transfer your existing savings to service for chances to win $1 million. Contest $1. ends April 30th, 2024. Skill test required for rules. Visit service.ca slash win. There you go. That's How the end of the month. It? You got to get on this. Let's go. Service get credit union. Get your financial people on it. Get it over to service. That's right. I, uh, uh -huh. how was the skiing, by the way? The boys oh. have a good time. Did you see the, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, what her Instagram channel? I did. Always, yeah. You it, a, honestly, it, it looked like one of those things where, like, what ski company? What, uh, <laughs> what ski hill? Cause here you have two little boys dressed the same. Oh, not a cloud in the sky, mountains everywhere. It was. I sent one to Jack. Let's see if we can find it. Cause it's, it was like, looked like an AI or like. It did. Magazine it looked like photo. some green screen. Yeah. Photoshop yeah. BS kind of back thing. to black, uh, bluebird spring days. Uh, Sunday was maybe minus two, three, four, five. And yesterday in the afternoon, it got above zero. It was absolutely spectacular. Yeah. 
and they got more snow coming this week. Sunshine was unreal. So maybe crop you out if you could have. Yeah, that's you know, probably good. Your for wife and the boys. It looked yeah, like yeah, it's, it's a better beautiful. vibe. Yeah, yeah, like a post, like a postcard kind of a deal. She's there. dressing me, so it's getting closer. But still, it's like who is uh, sure in this caveman is kind yeah. of more the question you ask yourself. So she, of course, was away for a period of time. Came back. It yes. felt. Rhett and I yesterday we were talking. Maybe the the homecoming wasn't didn't go as smoothly as maybe everyone would have hoped because you had talked about the house was in shambles and then there was some maybe tears or some unrest at the breakfast table yeah. very early on, but it looked as though things came around. Did you, uh, yes. not, not as far as getting points or whatever, but did you smooth things over? Is everything fine? Things are very good. It's, yeah. it's been a very stressful time. There's been some family issues in Australia, which necessitated emergency travel to the other side of the world and mm -hmm. communications hard when it's 16 hours ahead. And, uh, I think she, she called the house, you know, no, no, Ryan did a pretty good job. Everything was good. Uh, the house was a disaster zone, I think oh. is how she termed it. Mm. Disaster zone. Yeah, it's not. But other than that, I think everything was better than a crime well. scene. Yes. Yeah. There was no tape around it. Yeah. Um, or bodily fluids that she could see anyway. Correct. Yeah. We did that load of laundry. So, <laughs> whoa. So, no, we needed a little uh, family time. And thank you like, for coming. Look, right? look at that background. That looks like someone drew that mountain background scape thing it looks like you have been cropped into that yes photo. that's a green screen for sure yeah holy moly boys like skiing yeah it was the first day is basically a year because we only squeeze in uh, april may's ski months yeah. basically but hockey's done and longer skis <laughs> poles are new this year and the fellas a couple of runs i'm like i don't know if we're ready for poles and then sure enough after lunch yeah. they're flying Mama so, can't keep up anymore. So can I ask you a question? And I'm, okay. I don't know if this is accurate because I know that sometimes uh, with Rhett and I having boys that have been just a little bit older than yours, mm -hmm. we go through different life experiences first and then you, right. uh, you go through them after. And sometimes you get to critique our uh, situations and then you and are put into them. Uh, yes. I, now, were you, were you possibly critical of, the situation where when you have boys in hockey yeah that you really you don't ski all winter long because i remember and i don't know if it maybe it was j boy or whoever it's yeah no you gotta you gotta no way you can't not go skiing all winter long you got to take some time you got to go to the hills yeah because you hear that a lot as a parent who's got kids in hockey and it becomes very difficult you to do. don't want to just get pigeonholed and yeah so i wonder on one sport would, would you have been critical of us not skiing until either all year or not until April? No, I was more just saying like, <laughs> the, the challenge is that you want to lean into what your kids love to do and mm. that you also hear at the same time, keep, keep them in as many sports as you can, don't specialize. But then if they get good at anything, all these associations and coaches are like, we need more of this person's time. Like play spring, here's a super team. And you got to be at this camp. And that's exactly the opposite of what all the experts tell you to do. That yeah. you, you need to... so. I, don't, I think I would have been more critical of just everyone playing spring versus getting into other sports. So I, yeah, I'm yeah. super happy that we're skiing and not doing spring hockey. Because I know you guys have been a skiing family for a long time. And then when you said whatever it was the other day, it's our first time going. It was like, oh, yeah, because you're up to your eyeballs in in hockey. Puck. It's hard. It's every week. Yeah, we got two months, though. It's And honestly, spring's the best. Like, have your lunch outside. Lots of sun, tons yeah. of longer days, roads are dry in and out. It's absolutely way better than anything except the powder day. It's just the best. I've never contradicted myself. Thank you. Pinders never contradicted. <laughs> He's a good guy. Is that a clean boy? A good guy. Uh, no, I, but I'm already. It's like oh, we got this skate. Uh, yeah, your boys are 2015s, right? Uh, what, what's your available? I'm like, oh, they're eight. They're eight. Yeah, eight but you do what your kids want to do you yep. just okay, okay what do you, what do you, you okay yes okay and honestly sure i would probably have leaned more into the spring hockey thing if oh yeah what wasn't such uh like skiing something Whoa, she loves wasn't and, such a what oh yeah what wasn't if she such wasn't a such bum. a ski bum oh so like many australians their gateway to canada is through uh working in banff and making out with people at bars in banff <laughs> while working in the ski industry so right. She used to teach skiing yeah. lessons and, mm. uh, there's not a lot of things, you know, she's, she can skate, but family she, activity skiing is one. She didn't start making out with people yesterday. They probably she? started making out with her. I don't know. Oh, I started. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Um, 
Damn, what was I just going to say? <laughs> well, no, what? It's probably good. I, I by the to, way, nah. Go ahead. I don't I did, I had no feedback on the pin report yesterday. I'm, I'm going in blind today, but it was no Did good. you have about 15 crocodile clips or not? It was no good. I'm telling you. It's hard. I I'm finding it's hard <laughs> to be that gross and disgusting. I I didn't have I said to Jack at the end I didn't have any uh eating of boiled rats or deep yeah. fried okay. geese or or anything like that. I had one crocodile and it was it was very underwhelming. Yeah. Um I've got not, one alligator. That's not my wheelhouse. Three crocodiles, one cat, one mouse, one dog. Uh skateboard fail, harness fail, scooter fail. Uh, if anything, it was one of Jack's was, pals pissing all over the bar and whitefish and uh, a snake. It was probably too sportsy, if anything. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the, the young blood. It was lame. <laughs> pinder. It was. I know. Well, I mean, that's why it's called the pin report. If someone when I was up to like one or two in the morning, I'm like, well, I got to where's like, there's where's you find this dumb. Where is the dumb stuff? No We're doing the pin report. Heads, people yeah. are people are in the comments. Yeah. Just get to the dumb. Get to the stupid shit. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Jeremy Poirier had a secondary assist on the. Could we yeah. get to the, the, the? Honestly, where are the yeah. kangaroos fighting people? What you know? What I have it here, actually. At the risk of going through it, okay. So mm. I, yeah, I got it typed out. I got like four pages of stuff. Yeah. Uh, Flames beat the Kings. Uyghur goal. Right? I was there. Manjapani out for a second straight game. Sounds like he's going to miss tonight's game as well. Boy, he must be really hurt. Dude. Day to day. Today? Um, day to day we, today. We had uh, a clip from Rasmus Anderson. Told you about the Wranglers making the playoffs. Uh, That's good. With, uh, Austin Matthews had the big goal there in Buffalo. The, we talked about the Buffalo home crowd, which looked like a Leaf home crowd. That lame fight between the Leafs and the Sabres. We showed the standings. Yeah. We'll and the wild week. card chases. Yeah. Then got talking about the games last night that were on the schedule. Okay. Landed DuPont. I even talked about the Western Ooh. Hockey League playoffs and showed the showed the thing. Frozen Four, mm -hmm. Blue Jays, the uh, Henesis or Yenesis? I've heard Yenesis. both. Yenesis uh, Cabrera Bro. suspension. And then I have... They um, feel that. They need their arms. I have under dumb shit. Yeah. Uh, Pinder Beach, Pinder Bike, Pinder Baseball. Laker fans... Emus, shady flamingos, shark swimming, and croc. Oh, that's good. You had one croc and emus. I, that's a nice angle. Yeah, flamingo. Wow. Underwhelming. Uh, it, they're shady. They're shady as fuck. Those flamingos. You gotta keep your eye on them. They're always in a pack. Yeah, they're they are strutting around together. It's like, what are you? What are you pricks up to? Yeah, what are you scheming. So the good news is Pinder is back, and Pinder report, as you know it and love it, will return. Good, yeah. Moments away. Very excited. Jack's buddy, just an absolute mess at, uh, in Whitefish. That's too bad. It's a high eye, man. Yeah. It's just at the, yeah, yeah, it, the bulldog yeah. there. They don't take Canadian money anymore, but the way people are just hammered, you'd think they do. That's some bullshit. Yeah, so get that back. Uh, hello, Cal Tire. Listen oh. up. If you're an owner operator or have a small fleet of trucks, Cal Pro Plus with Cal Tire is the dedicated tire program just for you it's a free program i said free free program providing access and exclusive deals and savings a price match guarantee flexible financing options and preferred pricing on everything that you drive including your own family vehicles additionally your dedicated member support is on hand to answer questions recommend and source the best tires for your application and budget Access the network of more than 260 Cal Tire stores. Ooh. They are there to help with your tire program, so you can just focus on the road ahead. Sign up for free at calproplus.com. That's K-A-L-proplus.com. So I'm hearing it's free, and it's going to save you money, and the price match. Like, what are we? Where's the downside, Dean? Where's the this? Dedicated member support. What, so what does that mean? They will recommend the best tread and compound for the conditions you face, the types of vehicles that you have. I don't know. How to, that's not my, I don't know what the heck to have somebody. Well, here's what you, you've got the complete look. Here's why you're going through nine sets of tires a year. Yeah. You got the wrong compound, dude. That tread's yeah. no good for what you're doing. Uh, best pricing, check and monitor inventory to get tires to a store near you on oh. time. <laughs> yeah, man. So there you go. Calproplus.com. It is free. 
sign up today. Get that small fleet of trucks. If you're that owner operator, get that done today. And you're welcome. You're welcome. That's not part of the read, but we're just saying you're welcome. We're just saying you are. Yep. Yar. No Rhett today, you may have noticed. Uh, or you may yeah, not I was noticed. waiting for Rhett to join the show, and then it's like, oh, yeah. I think he's uh, vacationing. Yeah. Yep. Well, Jack and I talked about it either on the air or after the show yesterday. Um, he Let's was the going... off-air version, please. <laughs> right. It was after the show. Um, okay, good. <laughs> the, uh, he was going to go to Huataluco or Huatulco. Mexico. Oh, Mexico. Yeah. Remember, remember that? Because can yeah. I do the show from Huatulco? Oh, yeah. Uh, then he had said he was going to be maybe back in Calgary this week. Yeah, he was definitely remember, coming back. Remember, to Calgary. he was coming back. He was going to be here this week. Mm. Um, and then he actually is uh, he's in Florida. It's a it's a look inside the workings of him and his household household. It's yeah. just as the world turns. Mexico, Alberta, Florida. What do you, what are we doing tomorrow? There's no way to know. Where's the chief flight to? Yeah. And and this is kind of like when you don't book more than a day or two ahead, uh, you could say that, I mean, you have a lot of opportunities of th places you could go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was actually privy to a phone call. And I didn't you know what's this. Anyway. But anyway, um, one of the boys was talking to dad, yeah. to dad Rhett, and uh, wondering about when, you know, it, did you book a flight or are we going somewhere? And he said, no, there's, there's no flight booked. And mom was in the background. That's not how we do things. You know, if maybe if we book things more than a, a two days in advance, it yeah. could save some money. It was that sort of thing. Right. So I don't know that it's necessarily something that's not being recognized. It's just the way business is done. It is. Yeah. And look, it's, um, he has the luxury to be able to live it that way. And you and I don't walk up to the desk at the airport and try to buy a ticket. He will do that. He That's will a, do that. Yeah. And then, right there. and then realize I forgot my passport, get into an Uber, yes. go home, Uber mm -hmm. back, and then get on a later flight. That and then cost, realize that uh, he's got yeah. two tickets for his one son and no tickets for his other son. Yeah. Yeah. Or just you, book two seats for himself and then forget about his wife. It's it. Anytime he has to travel, it, that's really your window. Yeah. Into and you life. would think, right, that when you've had so many swerves and things go sideways. Yeah. That you, 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 there'd be some sort of anxiety be, about not, I can't let that happen again. But it doesn't really, seem to be there. That it anxiety just continues to happen. Hey, I you would, know what? I uh, have a travel agent on payroll if I was that family. Yeah. And he had said, for that, itself right away because he texted us i need tuesday off and uh so i asked what's going on going to florida uh the shoveler uh booked a surprise trip to florida for for the five of them the three mm -hmm. boys and and has your wife ever booked uh flights hotels to uh like it's not a it's i mean it's as a surprise God, as a no. surprise trip just kind of hey i've got flights and hotels and that for the five of us yeah no 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 and if we do those things it's like six months out yeah i yeah. can tell you what i'm doing every day this summer it's it's very um we're type a house yeah shit's yeah. organized not me my shit is organized yeah hey listen don't, uh, what is that? Don't hate the, the player, hate player. the game. I don't, not even that. I just, it's, it's a good place to be. Yeah. It must be a good place to be when it's just, Hey, why don't we go to Florida this afternoon? Sure. His shoulders may hurt a little bit less in the Florida sun. Who knows, who's to say? Uh, let's do the pin report. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. The Pinder report is a presentation of village Honda. The 2024 Honda Accord, redesigned last year, chosen by Car and Driver magazine as the uh, the number one mid-sized sedan, one of the most reliable vehicles on the road, is already uh, now even better than ever. Huh? Yep. Superior ride quality, reliability, and impressive fuel economy, all thanks to the EXL Hybrid. 2024 Honda Accord and more. Check it out at the Northwest Auto Mall with Village Honda and online at villagehonda.com.
it's time for uh Pinder. Ryan Pinder. Ryan Pinder. Ryan Pinder. And the Pinder Report. Hi, right. Dean. Let's jump back in in the old wild card standings in the Western Conference where the Nashville Predators, uh, wild card one, and the Stinky Kings. Stinky. Yeah. Um, What's going on there, fellas? Did they fall in Winnipeg last night, too? Oh, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, but. And then they lost Calgary on the weekend. And then and Edmonton uh, before that. Yeah. And Vegas is now up there in the, mm-hmm. the, the three hole. Yeah. I'm actually okay with that. If you think about the Flames future picks, if Vegas can win a round, their third round selection will turn into a second given to the Flames. It is a conditional pick, Dean. And I like the Vegas chances better, slightly better in the three hole versus a wild card where you'd go on the road to face a division winner. Oh, no question. Like yeah, and, Dallas, and, Colorado, Vancouver. Although I don't know that uh, I'm a hundred percent sure Vancouver's better than Edmonton at this point. See, here's the thing. I don't what whatever it is that there's the Vegas angle. Flame fan wants a better pick. Then there's yeah. the other. Uh, we just don't want Edmonton to win. Yeah, I think that I, I would rather. I want Vegas to play Edmonton. The other thing too is that you also have a conditional pick with the Canucks if they can get to the conference final. So if Vegas were to beat Edmonton, the Canucks would move on. The Canucks beat Vegas. You have two conditional picks that were upgraded: a fourth to a third, and a third to a second. I'm busy. And then Never if the mind stars, Dallas on the other and side. the stars win the cup, the, there's a pick there too. If they too, get right? to the cup final, if they uh, win the West, then the, an extra third in that deal. Well, let's go Canucks, Golden Knights, Stars, and Stars. In yeah, a different round each. First day back. Yeah, we'll we'll have all Feels late like April and May to discuss yeah. that. Feels like it's a lot. How long are we doing this? Uh, the cup, and then I don't know. I mean, who's to Wait, say? How I many, feel like what, you're, you're what day-to-day right did now, you right? just trot out? April, f- May? What? Yeah, April, May. It's the cup, man. There's three weeks left in the Flames, Sked. Yeah, Flames April are April 18th, be, the last game. Those will be golfing while we're doing the show. That's bullshit. They will be. Okay. April, May, June. Now, listen, I showed you the wild card. That's completely, I'm on the wrong foot. Let the standings that really matter are the standings that are upside down and the flames remain in eighth team, but we need the Buffalo Sabres to get their shit together. 500. They played two more games than the flames. 75 or 73. We need Buffalo to get going and they have a tough schedule. Um, I'm very concerned about the Sabres. They've done this before. They've experienced it's this time of year. They typically shine Uh, flames. This is kind of new territory for them. Well, the other part is Ryan, the flames aren't, that's a big win the other night. Too big. Sorry right? Say. Yeah. You I you can look at you can give Buffalo the uh the gears or Ottawa or whoever. You better focus on these flames. Yeah. They've got the sharks and ducks. They've got some game all the teams that Worse you see on that. that got two sharks and two ducks. Two sharks and an Arizona. There's, isn't there a Chicago still? I, like, no. I don't even know what's left. It's just it's it, the flames better focus, is what it comes down to. Yeah, get focused, boys. No, here's sh- what's no, left. Yeah, go ahead. Anaheim, Winnipeg, yeah. Edmonton, That's San Jose, yeah. LA, Anaheim, Arizona, Vancouver, San Jose. There's the whole month. That's the whole bleeping thing right there. So, Dean, you can uh, you can rest easy knowing your final afterburner will be done in the next uh, two and a half weeks. Don't know which one or where. I don't I see you on the schedule this week. but um, was maybe done already. But uh, No, they're, they're, we're doing afterburners for all 82. Jesus Christ. Rhett's the only one that's done. That's correct. Yeah. Rhett uh, told us he might be able to get, and then it was no, probably zero. Yeah. 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 I do have the tally on those. We'll, uh, we'll unveil that on the show in front of Rhett to see. But here's see the stuff. thing. It, it, there's no point in unveiling it because it's as though maybe there'd be some shame involved yeah, to how I'd little so. he's done, Yeah, but there's pride. So it, in, in essence, you're saying here, Rhett, good job, man. Here's how Rhett outfoxed the boys and yeah. we put up the graphic. Because and, and there again, rest in peace, Barnburner. Oh, it's a good run when we had it going. Good run. So there's your schedule. What about the Ducks tonight? You'd noted the young players. I do like the Carlson McTavish stack down the middle. Terry, they locked up, I believe, a couple off seasons ago. Lundestrom is <laughs> a recent draft pick. For trano has got 30 goals. He's had a hell of a year again. Mr. Lundegaard. Um, You're going to want that true coat. But the You're trial a has You're been a crickets liar. for months here. It, it, he was an incredible first two-thirds of the season. Who are you talking about? 
uh, Frank the Tank, the pizza man delivers. Yeah, yeah, yeah former right. Flames development camp attendee. Yeah. Back end still is Cam Fowler. Cam, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> you got to get your ass out of there. <laughs> Remember all your old pals? You had uh, Lindholm and then who's it? Vatanen and he was and he's, Theodore. Like everyone else got the fuck out of there, Cam. You can get out of there too. And he's all, he wasn't on the cup team, right? Like I'm trying I think to. He would have been. Well, have been? no, not the cup team. Sorry. He would have been on those division was, winning teams at the end of. Uh, yeah. Because that's Niedermeyer Pronger. Yes, era. Yeah. No, he was not there for sure. Yeah. Because you could argue he's won his cup. You're living in Anaheim. No, Life's yeah. great. You're making your money, but he doesn't have the cup. It's 32, what? two years left at six and a half. Remember I when he like, slid to them? He was he like projected is he losing, to go top three, though? four, five, and he slid all the way to 12. Oh. Yeah. The Rangers drafted some soft drink machine right ahead of him. Oh, my God. Remember that? I do. I'm trying to think of it. Was big D man? Yeah, he was the only guy that didn't play. Western uh, League, Moostra, I want to say. Big tough. Yeah. Riley was, uh, Dylan McElrath. Yeah, Grantham was the other guy. That's who the Flames took. Yeah, and that was way earlier and also later, too. I think he was a second yeah. rounder or something. No, Grantham was late. Yeah, late, yeah. Maybe later than that. <laughs> Yeah, where did uh, it was Moose Jaw too? I nailed it. Look at that. Moose yeah. Jaw Warrior. Oh. Dylan McElrath. Dylan McElrath. He's still playing 14 mm -hmm. years later. Crazy. Uh, top of the standings of the NHL. Let's take a look. This has been a really interesting finish to the season. We had uh, all seven of these teams, the next beside them, separated by one point at one point last week, at one juncture last week. Uh, it's spreading out a little, but I still. Um, you want to win the President's Trophy or you don't, you can do that still for most of these teams. Yeah. Yeah. I, wow. There's a lot of talk out there about uh, just are the Rangers. Are they for real? Are the yeah. Rangers? For, I, I don't know. I, I, again, I don't think we talk about Dallas enough. No. Talked about that with Frank yesterday. Carolina Colorado, is right? just yeah. Carolina. You're just not going to talk about them, but they've been pretty good. And they line up in a spot where they're going to get an easy first round opponent. Most twos have a very difficult three seed to deal with. Uh, that one division is the exception. It'll be Philly or Washington. Not hey, of those teams concern me. Once the regular season's over and we're done doing these shows, it's going to be great for all of us just to sit back and watch playoff hockey. I definitely would encourage you to watch playoff hockey. That does not. Uh, conflict with uh, the timing of the show that we do five days a week through the months of April and May, and even June, some have suggested. I'm sorry. Uh, really quickly, if the playoffs started today, I've got your matchups. You can tell me banger or nah, okay? So oh, shout okay. out to our boy, Matty Rose, who I think had a segment called banger. So we just nah. kind of talked about how so much can change. Yeah. But we'll look at if they ended today. All right. Well, no, and it's obviously hey, not to say here's what they're going to be, but like think about how good and juicy the matchups could be. I'll play along. I don't need uh, things set in stone or hard facts. I'll play That's along right. with this. Thanks for playing along, Dan. I would like you to be uh, hypothetically interested or I'm not interested. Roll. Let's, yeah, let's just let's just roll with it. Sure. Banger or not? Boston, Tampa Bay. Banger. Yep. The other Banger. Atlantic series, Florida, Toronto. Banger. That's two for two on bangers. Uh, we go to the Metro. Rangers Flyers. Ooh, banger. Love it. Gotta watch that. Philly's sliding. Detroit could pass them for that spot there. But right now, as of today, Rangers Flyers. Delorier Rempe, let's go. Yeah. I wonder banger. what Torts has to say about it. We'll hear from Torts in a moment. I know. Um, Carolina, Washington, the other one in the East. Hey, listen, every you gotta have ditch diggers, right? It can't be Nashville every night, the tragedy. It can't, if you just be, in. It can't right? be Nashville someone's, every night. Yeah. Someone's got to do the heavy lifting. Sorry, So that's guys. three out of four series in the East would be bangers. Let's totally go to bangers. the West. Yeah. All right. Dallas, LA. I'm blaming LA for this one not being a true banger. I agree with you. Colorado, Winnipeg. I need, I need Winnipeg to get their bleep together here. They, they win last night, but they lost six. But there's potential there, I guess, for a banger. But Colorado's so good. Vancouver, Nashville, I'm curious on because I, this has no sex appeal midseason. But with Nashville on the run they're on, I feel like uh, this could this could have like everyone's sexy dark horse could be the Preds with Vancouver only having played in the playoffs with this whole core once in the bubble in Edmonton. Banger or not? Nah? I'm saying nah. 
Yeah, the West is. I know you're. Tr- I know it's. You're trying. I'm hyping. Yeah. And uh, this one, I don't think we'll need to hype. Edmonton, Vegas. Banger. Thank you. Banger. Two bangers in the West. Three out of four in the East. Now that said, I, so you go through. I'm not because I'm not even sure if you kind of do musical chairs there. I, I I worry just because you know what it's like. It's not w- whether it's a banger, but it's it, it's going to have to go up against somebody else. Are you going to which one are you going to be watching? This one or this one? Because they're going to be on at the same time. That sort of thing. It's just Nashville and Vancouver. If Edmonton Vegas is playing at the same time, you know which one you're watching. One hundred percent. No, the beauty is, is that we play every other day pretty much yeah, and then yeah. an extra day of travel. And then there's early starts and late starts. You could easily have Vancouver in Nashville followed by Edmonton and Vegas doubleheader. I'd watch that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, yeah, if definitely Except. bangers on the East. And I think it's because of what LA has been, what Winnipeg has been. Yeah, I find it hard too. to put them in a banger ca- category because they just look like they're prime to be booted here. Yeah, which may or may not have anything to do with how they look in the first round of the playoffs. But again, this is today, and this is how we feel about it. We've seen so many times, oh, this team's so hot, they look good. Oh, this team's no good. And it's just like, oh, no, it's a different season. But you know what can happen? You can have a series that looks like a non-banger, and all of a sudden you're going six, seven games, and it comes up and says, hey, look at me. Like Philly, New York? I'm a banger. Oh, baby. You said I wasn't a banger. (laughs) We're going seven games. (laughs) I'm a banger, dude. Uh, let's go to torts. You, ref- you referenced torts and the uh, scuffling flyers who are a single hundredth of a percentage point in a playoff spot, not out. Uh, here's our boy. Concerned at all that tonight it kind of lingered again that you just said it was a soft game per se? Uh, not the whole game and not the whole group. There are certain people that they don't have a clue how to play or just don't have it in them to play in these type of situations. And this is why I'm glad we're playing them. I'm glad because we we have to figure things out as far as what we're going to uh, become as a team here. That was embarrassing in the second period for the Philadelphia Flyer uniform, the way we played. Embarrassing. High marks as far as how we came back in the third. Some guys. I like this. I like the beautiful. very start of that. Just hang on to that, Jack, because um, he was asked about it. Soft at the, the like the first comment Soft. he makes at the press. Soft. He hates the word. Um, is Torts okay? Because he's got the bum thumb. And yeah. He's looking a little ragged and haggard here. The beard is kind of, it looks like he should be, you know, on a, like a horse-drawn carriage butter churning or something. <laughs> like, friggin' Torts, what's what's happening, bud? It's falling apart here. He's First falling apart. In Philly. Hey, there's no color in his face. He's kind of, he's, he's got the opposite of you. You've got the north-south. He's got a bit of east-west. There's color yeah. on the on the one side, but it's a little yellow on the other side. I'm Jesus, good, John. Dude. Mix in a salad and get some sleep. Christ. No, sleeping. no way he's sleeping. Yeah, let's hear the soft again. That's good. Are you concerned at all that tonight it kind of lingered again that you just said it was a soft game per se? Uh, not the whole game and not the whole group. There are certain people that they don't have a clue how to play Beautiful. or just don't have it in them to play in these type of situations. <laughs> and this is why I'm glad we're playing them. I'm Because gl- we, we have to figure things out as far as what we're going to uh, become as a team here. That was embarrassing in the second period for the Philadelphia Flyer uniform. Okay, the way we good. play, embarrassing. Anyway, we love as to far us. as how we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, we need them in the playoffs. I, I was kind of yes. thinking it'd be cool to see Philly fall out. Um, I don't, don't know why. Them. I love the Philly. Don't crowd. need them, but if it's if it's Detroit coming in, I don't give a shit. Yeah, I, I just yeah. Sorry to uh, Patty Kane and and the Wings. There's just something about the Flyers that feel like even if they stink, they're. They're ready for playoff hockey somehow. At a minimum, we get torts pressers. Yeah. With this pressure you just saw, like, that's right. Ratchet it up. He's going to be going bananas. Yeah. And he's still giving the one guy the gas in every press conference. Like, oh, I'm yeah. Answer, I'm not answering your question. Next question. I'm not answering your question. I'm not asking a question. Next question. I'm not answering a question. Crosby doing Crosby things. He joins an elite uh, list of players that are very good at hockey, including him and Wayne Gretzky. Mm-hmm. 19 consecutive point per game seasons. Hey, that's uh, so because you got the COVID shortened, you got the lockout shortened, you got another lockout shortened, you got another COVID shortened. Uh, the games played more than that in number of points every single season in the NHL. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Superstar, <laughs> superstar. Yes, and and the and the other part of it is too. You'll see some of these records 
that guys will achieve. And it's not a shot, but yeah. it'll be, uh, well, he 14, had 14, 20 goal season. He had eight yeah. and so-and-so had nine and Gretzky had 23. <laughs> exactly. like, like Gretzky's yeah. just so far and away. Yeah. Say, yeah, you did it. But Gretzky to have this, not just Gretzky's the only other guy that did it. And you did it as many times as Gretzky. Yeah. That's pretty rare and amazing. Yeah. And I saw David Amber the other day being like, I said years ago, he's a top five player of all time. And like, yeah. Like, yeah, a lot who, of people. Who, who, yeah. Like when McDavid's done, they might push someone out, but it, as it stands, it's clearly Although, like Lemieux, Lemieux yeah. Gretzky or how, who else beats him? You did wonder there with the concussions, I guess at one time what he was going to be, but yeah, to say that uh, Sidney Crosby, people were talking about him being a super top five. Yeah. He's 12. So yeah. Sorry, David Amber. I don't know. Not a hot take, David. No, I'm just but taking it on Pinder's You're right. Word. Pinder You're maybe right. has misquoted you and in which case it's Pinder's fault. You can go find the tweet. Uh, WHL playoffs, Dean. I know you got to keep your trend alive. You're updating WHL playoffs. Oh, man, let's go. Uh, that is the West. Vancouver tied 1 1. Lipinski and Honzik, both uh, Very Flames great. prospects drafted in Nashville last summer. Lipinski having a monster year, Dino. Yeah. What? 6 4, 205 already. Yeah. Eligible for the American League next year. Three assists in two games. Honzik scored once. And uh, Lipinski dominating on the faceoff dot. Oh, good. There's for him. a centerman in the system, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, good for uh, him. Uh, East side looks like this. Blades, what are you doing here? You're heavy one seed. Let's get going here. They're Stinky fine. PA. They're going up to Art Hauser, whatever they're calling it. Oh, what they calling it? Art Hauser. Yeah, the Art Hauser. Uh, Whoop to do arena. And uh, settle down, Lethbridge. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Next. Oh, we already showed the Blue Jays getting no hit. I thought it was April Fool's, so what? it probably was. Let's just no, move no, right I, along. Listen, no, no. A no-hitter in baseball deserves some – it deserves to be shown. It doesn't happen. Okay. It's well, a no-hitter. Here's the thing. When you have a surefire Hall of Fame first ballot arm, a, like a name that immediately everyone in sports knows, like uh, Ronel Blanco. Because that's no, that's no good. Um, but congrats to the, uh, to the Astros. A nail-biter. 10 nothing, no hitter. It's early, right? This stuff can happen. Early uh, they're two and three. I mean, they win today. They're 500. Who gives a That's shit? Right. But Who gives a shit? They also would lose and go two and four. Uh, the Astros, by the way, lost all four games to the Yankees and are now one and four. That's a good team. I don't know what, what the point of that is, but I'm just. It's early season it. math, which I, which works for me. Once they start playing three and four series, okay, so what happened to. Then I get lost. And a murderer's row in March for the Jays. It's going to be, or April, excuse me. Yeah. Lots of Yankees. Two Yankees series? Seattle? Houston? Ugh. Yeah. Do not likey. Remember we used to do bets on series outcomes or whatever it was? Kikuchi over five and a half strikeouts? <laughs> no, I think <laughs> it was just, about? it was when the Yankees Oh, the Yankees. And, oh, you're up for that again now that your team's I'm good. just wondering if we, I just, you know. We used Is to it do a three that. or four gamer. Ah, uh, I'll we'll get back to you on that. I haven't looked. Yeah. I know they play Friday. It's an yeah. 11 a.m. start. Yeah. I'll go early finish yeah. the show to get to a liquid lunch. We'll see. Did we update the bracket for March Madness? I think we got our final four, don't we? Oh, yeah, we do. Hey, what's up, what's up? Look at this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Johnny, Justin, Ryan, not me, Alex, Damone, Carter, and uh, C Town and Down. Good work. You're all. In the top five of our bracket challenge here on Barn Burner. By the way, the prizing, prizing just announced that uh, we don't have any. So thanks for participating, everyone. And thank you to uh, to the sponsors for, uh, for those right. prizes. Yeah, to Williger Industries yeah. and uh, McGillicuddy Inc. Thank yeah. you for supporting the bracket challenge. <laughs> Valued sponsors here on the program. That's right. Indeed. Uh, I know you're a big foodie. I'm waiting for your cooking show. Uh, you're a lazy bastard. You haven't started a cooking show yet. It's what true. are you? The people want the cooking show. Comments, let them hear it. Do you want a Dean's cooking show? Jack, what start you, a poll. What are you, you're going to put something gross up, right? Is it dumb shit time? Is that what's what happening? People want. So we're done show. with the sports. You need Jack to. Pre he's going to put up a poll in the comments. Do you want Dean to do a cooking show? Would you subscribe, like, five star, and watch all episodes? What the answer is obviously yes. And I'd like you to, if possible. I feel like you need to preface when it's time for the dumb shit. 
Book some alligator on your cooking shelf if you do that. Have you ever tried alligator? This large reptile is actually edible to eat, and the no, meat tasted hot. like a combination of Ugh. fish and chicken. That's good. Chicken so let me show you how I did it. I first brined it overnight and used W sauce as a binder. Add your favorite barbecue rub, and using the Thermopro Twin 10 Spike, I stuck mm. in the thickest part of the tail. Then in the smoker at 275 degrees, spritzing every 30 minutes. So I live in California, and I was so surprised. You can ship live crawfish from Louisiana overnight. So I made a crawfish boil to wrap around the gator. Once the internal temperature was over 165 degrees, I paid it on barbecue sauce and served. Oh, yeah. Now let me know in the comments, how much would you pay for this? It looks good. Somewhere between chicken and fish. What? I don't even know why that got me. It's... So what are you going to cook? Like hot dogs on your show? You got to do something exotic now and then. Such a dick. Hmm. So there's this legend in Calgary that I didn't know existed until a few people sent this to me over the weekend. Now this beauty, I don't know if he's a Kiwi or an Aussie. He's not from here, but he's in Calgary. He's repping Calgary. And he's got this thing on Instagram where the number of followers he has, 10 cents every day he puts on Blackjack for each follower. Okay. Day one. This is two days ago. Let's have a look. Before going to Blackjack and betting 10 cents for every Instagram follower I've got, we have 355,000 of you in here now. So 35,500 all bet coming up. See you on the felt. Saddle the fuck up. We will go $34,000 on the nose. We will fuck about a little bit with a side bet today. 1K on the 21 plus 3,500 on the perfect pairs. 34K is the button. Gives us a total of 35 and a half Gs. The bloke was good to us yesterday. So we've gone with a bloke again today. Uh, you know, no harm, no foul. Nine. 16 plays in 8. Oh, yes! We've got a straight. Side bet lobs. 10K back immediately. Oh, 16 versus an 8. Statistically, he's more than likely to have a 10 under there. So we will hit. Some would stand here, and that is the coward's approach. Yes! 21! 21. That's why you play by the book. That's why you play by the book, is right. 10, 17. It's good enough for me! You do not deviate from the goddamn book. That's right. I will see you tomorrow because we will be bidding even more. Yes. This guy does it every day. So that was like two days ago. I don't know like when he records it and releases it. There's another one today. And he's in Calgary. You can see the Calgary Tower and shit. Look at this guy. Day 55, going to Blackjack and bidding 10 cents for every Instagram follower I've got. Outrageously, there is an extra 21,000 of you in here today. So $37,600 bet going on for the 376,000 of you legends in here now. Coming right up. Okay. Day 55 brings about a big goddamn bet. We have $36,000 on the button, $1,000 on the 21 plus 3, and $600 on the perfect pairs. 37.6K total. Bets are closed. We've just had a goddamn dealer change. We've been duped here. Oh. I'm, call I'm calling the commissioner if this loses. Also, two, two. plays a... Oh, 12V King! Oh my God, before I before I hit the hit button, I will say this. Having talked to the Morning Rumble this morning, uh, last time I spoke to the media uh, about this journey, I, I broke a six day winning streak that day and I lost. So if it happens again today, this one's on Roger Farrelly. We need to see eight or nine go low. No! Oh my God! Oh, we were going so good. I guess you just can't win them all, but we've been on some run and I will see you tomorrow when we'll be bidding even more. <laughs> well, we I was just saying that first more. clip. It's like, that looks, it, it almost looks like Calgary in the background. Just it is. The, 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 the high rises or whatever. Did the flames took in the first day. This guy's in Calgary dropping yes. 35 grand on one hand of blackjack. Every day. And more every day. Because more people follow this. See you next in the Northern Territory. Right, uh, yeah. Unbelievable. I get him on the show, but every time he does media, he loses that day. I know you can't do it. Yeah. Wow, and, that's uh, and I think and that's he's the worst up. feeling. He's on a heater. That's the worst feeling when you get a twelve. Oh, like, face card. King. Yes, two. Oh, and then of the course, is. oh, and against a, a, a king. Great. It, yeah. Just, just take the chips. Just don't even bother. Just take okay. the chips. God damn. It. And the dealer changed. No fair at all. Yeah. Screwed. Yeah. Anyway, shout out to our boy. I don't even know his name, but he's in Calgary. Decent Good piece. job. Yeah. Well done. And I, again, up. go by, as he said, go by the goddamn book. That's right. 
Yeah. You got a 16. Don't get nervous and start sweating. Just hit that shit. Yeah. Hit it. What, uh, what, what happens to you when you're in Vegas and the person in front of you or behind you doesn't play by the book and it fucks up the whole shoe? Like, what do you talk? They to get the that? stink eye. Good. It's one of these. It's the full. And then the slow turn back to the table. Slow turn. Very Cause they know. They know. Ah, uh, 16. What? So what is it? It's 16. Uh, I'll stay. I'll stay. You just get up and leave the table. <laughs> just leave the table. That's all you do. I can't play with this. The person that doesn't play by the book deserves scooters to the shins. That's what I'd say. Yeah. Oh, right? is this like just... coming up again? <laughs> we right saw the, this. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh... <laughs> oh, look at this one. He gets another. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. No, we were debating this. Last time we showed this, it was something else, wasn't it? Or was it scooters? He was taking scooters on the shin on the little merry-go-round thing. Yeah. They were hooked to the thing. Whack, 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 whack. Oh. I for, what was, yeah, what was he taking? He was taking he something on the swing set into yeah. the shins, but I don't think it was the scooters. It was something else. Yeah. Anyway. Regardless, guy. dude's got some serious uh, shins there. That's amazing. Yeah, I don't know if he has nerve damage or what, but that, that mm. would feel not good for everyone else on earth. And every day's legs day, he says. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, to a skateboard fail, this went wrong a couple times. Pajamas. And uh, <laughs> Well, he wanted to go viral, Dean. See, Mission accomplished. In the minority, I prefer the slip is coming off to the uh, nut shot. I mean, really, it's a D all the above. Like, this yeah, it's is good. Clearly a win for everyone here. I mean, it's awesome. God, people. When so did Rhett say the 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 adolescent male's brain finally becomes yeah, mature? I don't know. Mid twenties, late twenties. Jesus. Yeah. Not ideal. Slippers, eh? Interesting choice when skateboarding. With pajama pants, yeah. 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 Mm. Now Rhett, uh, the lockout year, he and the shoveler <laughs> trip around the world. Remember that? Uh, yeah. And then he went. Uh, Bungie in South Africa and hasn't sky hasn't done a skydive yet, but th this was one of the ones I think he did yeah. somewhere in Asia. Um, so they got you, you know, harnessed in and then you got a do 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 do. Yay. Mm. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> what? <sighs> oh boy. We're throwing hands. What in the hell just happened? For those that aren't what a dude is basically, he's on some sort of a, oh. it's a high platform thing. And he's jumping from piece, from wood plank to wood plank. And it's, there's gaps between, but he's got a bungee cord strapped to his back. There's a harness that he's yeah. wearing. And as he takes his last step to safety, the bungee cord comes right off. Like this was not gonna. Yeah. He oh, was not, there boy. was zero there. Oh, Ooh. pain. Not ideal. No. I don't have cats. I don't like cats. Fuck cats. Rhett oh likes cats. Oh, um, Jesus. Ryan. Well, and this could go a lot of ways. I, I see a cord coming out of that. I hope it's not plugged into the wall, Dean. Right. Maggie. Maggie. Careful, Maggie. Maggie. What are you doing? There's nothing in the toaster. Ryan. Yeah, Dean, what's up? nothing down in there. Ryan. Maggie's in the toaster. Shut. What's the problem? Maggie. I'm sure the owner's unplugged it. For safety purposes. Come on. Ryan. <gasps> Fuck! Oh, it's just a mouse in there. Why? What were you worried about? You worried about something, dude? Uh, yeah. It's not the way I thought it was going to end. <laughs> uh, I got a question for you. We'll go to the next one here. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Jesus. It's a first tall word, that effort. Um, yeah. is this AI? Cause it's, uh, I don't think dogs could do this. Get a little, uh, the chihuahua. This is no, this can't be real, right? This like, is not real. <laughs> Guys, a ringer. Look at this. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what I'm more amazed at that it, th just to think to do it in the first place. How? how? Yeah. How do you I mean, get to the point either in real life or in AI 
get a dog, put a shirt on him, then some elastic bands, <laughs> some hair ties or whatever, and line up some empty pop cans for him to do target practice. Guy's good. Either way, we just watched something that I don't know how, I don't know what it is. I don't know how. To I don't know if that's real or not. We're in the post fact era, Dean. I don't make up your own facts. That could be real. It might not. The Pinder report is just, I don't, it's amazing. So Jack was in Whitefish and, you know, we've heard about Jack's buddies. There's some characters in there. I uh, remember a, Greta, they got thrown out the one time. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, this is clearly at White, some bar in Whitefish and the fellas had a little too much. You can see the screen. Yeah, there it is. Look okay. at the lean. Yeah, I'm worried about the fall because you're... Oh, it's taking a leak. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't want to fall. Uh, Jack, what the H? Jack. It's not you. It's the company you keep. Yeah, I got to reevaluate my friends, I guess. You get <laughs> you. Yeah. I guess. I said we had uh, three crocodiles on the show. I, I lied. Now, the food thing was an alligator. Oh, we have four crocodiles. Crocodile one. Let's go. A little water. We get and we get coconut. A little back scratch. Ah, oh, Dito, like look that? at that. Huh? Huh? Oh, oh, I don't. You're giving a little look back rub with a toothbrush. to be come off of you, coconut. Look at Man, that. you just like the green monster from the deep. You're supposed to be white. Oh, there it goes. It's coming right off. Look how cute that is, Dino. Oh. Hey, look at no. that. No. Someone in the comments had noted, imagine being around uh, 20 million or so years and never having your back rubbed until today. That's alligators. No. Yeah. No, still no. Uh, Crocodile 2, let's go. <laughs> this is awesome. This is in Australia. Aussies, don't bleep around, Dean. This has everything okay. you love. <laughs> yeah, it does. Mullet, Aussie, barking dog. <laughs> if you can't see it, a man has come okay. down from his porch. There's a massive crocodile 10 feet from the uh, staircase, and he is completely unfazed by the crocodile charging towards him and wallops him twice. The second one really gets the, yeah, uh, the croc him. good on the snout. He got him right on the snooter for sure. Yeah, that, uh, oh, I, I, that's oh, that's smart. Oh, I better go back to the swamp. Oh. So is this? Are we to believe that this is a person who this is his home or something? He's if got a little dog. Sign, clearly, says, there's a warning about crocodiles on the sign right next to the crocodile. Because if he's protecting the well-being of his uh, animals and family, then I guess this is okay. He doesn't even give a shit. He's just I'm going to take care of this rat. Let's go. It'd be like swatting a mosquito here. There is no fear in this man. The Aussies. Yes. Built Whew. different. They're built different. Croc three. Croc three. Come on. Oh, to the chow, chow down. Chow down. No. No. chow down. This is a large, large, large crocodile. We're back in the Northern Territory. See you there, Dean. Oh. And that's a no, I saw this oh, briefly and I'm not watching. Is it a pig severed head? Yeah, it's its head. You can hear the skull crunching there. Happy Easter, Dean. Is that nice? Keep going. So gross. Keep going. Look at the size of this thing. It is remarkably huge. I thought getting video was going to be Look great for the show. Look at the size of this thing. I sat with Jack and said, listen, the thing with the things we can do. Definitely one of our biggest crocs, I reckon, we have in here. Haven't measured him, but. Highlights. He's definitely. Think yeah. of the sporting events we'll be able to. Yeah. show on this on this program now what with the uh, availability of video yep really good much content. much better than the old show do we have one more crocodile oh we're croc, tapped that'd be croc five yes you're not tapped it. you always have another one all right fine well you talked about getting back into golf let's go What do we see there? The... Yeah, I see it. It's a snake in the friggin' hole. What? It's what? So I see a flag flapping, yeah. and there's the hole, and uh, it can't be a big snake because that's uh, just a golf cup. Uh, Where is this? Oh, it's uh, probably. Uh, Kananaskis? Just, yeah, yeah. Heather Glenn. Yeah, that's where. 
Not a small snake. No! <clears throat> you like the way they move, Dean? You like snakes? No. Nope. Hmm. Jack? Enough. I think that'll do it. I, I, uh, Jack. That'll do it? Uh, yeah, that'll, uh, no, that's, 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 uh, this is going great. Yeah, that's mm, more okay. like it. Yeah. Uh, that is the, you know, that is the Pinder report. There it is. Village Honda, huge selection of pre-owned vehicles. All makes, all models, all budgets. Over 90 units on site. Access to more than 500 more inside the dealership group. This is not, Village Honda doesn't, it's not a, Crocs and Stakes. It's not them. No. They are good people. They have a great selection of vehicles. They're going to treat you right. They are going to be your dealership for life. You're going to be treated so well. The experience of going to Village Honda is going to be such a pleasurable experience. You are going, you're just going to go there for the rest of your life. Service, sales, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. They have nothing to do with Crocs eating severed pig, pig's heads <laughs> or eating alligators or whatever. There's no snakes in golf. None. You're not going to hop into a pilot right. or a CRV and a snake going to come out of the, the heating vent. It's That's not correct. going to happen. It's a guarantee. There is no snakes or crocodiles in all the Hondas at Village Honda. They are worth the trip. Village Honda located in the Northwest Auto Mall. Great to be back, Dean. Have you gotten any feedback from Anthony or Tanya or anybody up at Village Honda? It's like, hey, we appreciate you. We're Big fans of the show. They yeah. really enjoy the, uh, the barn burner experience. Gross. Just, I don't know. I'm just ready for the cooking show. Let's go. Boomer, you create this situation by letting Pinder do it without supervision. I'm not, it's, I, there's no question it's taken on a life of its own. It's organic, Dean. We had, no, we had nothing but kangaroos for a few you know, months. Or, or, we haven't had a and we'll move on. I'm, but I'm curious, though. You see that I am, what is the word? I'm reviled by it. Like, I, I hate it. Revolted, yeah. Do you have a lot of people coming up and saying that they love it? That you keep what doing it? What they especially enjoy is that it grosses you out. That's what they like the most Great. about the Pinder Report. Well, that's it's good. Authentic reaction that people crave. Yeah. Well, that's definitely reason to just keep doubling down on it. And Jack, again, if this was a bank robbery, you're driving the car. He's the boss. I'm just doing what he says. Yeah. He says, make a Pinder Report Pinder, and I do it. When, uh, when you're up at Village Honda, maybe you got a little, uh, you got some hunger pains. Maybe you're like, God, I'm just parched. Mad Rose Pub. La I think we talked about this last week and we were saying it because it was snowing and the weather was not great. So eventually the time's going to come when that re retractable roof and the whole thing, they've got this beautiful new patio. Now inside is beautiful, but they got the patio. I know that uh, Matt has invested a bunch into, uh, into Mad Rose up there. I don't know if you've noticed it's patio weather. Yesterday, where was it? About 15 degrees, 12, 15 degrees. We're getting up 16 today. Beautiful. It's time. If you have not been or if you've been, it's time to make your return to Mad Rose Pub in Royal Oak. 20 beers on tap. It is kid-friendly Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, so take the family in there. Enjoy the food. We've been telling you about the food for a couple years now, and we ain't lying. Burgers, pasta, steaks, full entrees that you would expect from a fancy restaurant. Not your neighborhood pub, but yet there it is. Gourmet pizza, dough and signature sauce made fresh every single day. Check out the menu on their website, madrose.pub. Maybe you want to order in, get a little uh, madrose in your life at your home or at your office. 15 Royal Vista Place. It's our buddies up at Madrose Pub. It's Tuesday. It is Tuesday. 9.99 wings. <clears throat> Fried, then baked? Fried, then baked. Oh! Yeah. Crispy, right? Because sometimes you get them and you get wings, and I mean they're oh. cooked, but it's a little oh, I you know they're a little, little bit of this. Yeah, I don't want that. You know they're that. You don't want that. I want that crispy bite. You're not getting that. Not happening. Love it. Madrose pub for more, Dean. Madrose dot pub. Question. Yeah, yeah. Blake Coleman. Has 29 goals. Yes, sir. Will he reach 30? Sure. I think he will. Was it nine? Nine games left? Mm, 
yeah. What are we at for games left? I think we were at nine. Yes. Nine. No, seven, they played 73. How many? I mean, you can't have the nine. You can't have the drop and not use it, right? Nine times. Nine times. Nine times. Um, Igor Sharangovich has 28 goals. Will he hit 30? Boy, I hope so, but I uh, I might bet the under there. Really? Eight, two goals in nine games? How's his I last know. nine gone? He took him off the wing and he stopped scoring as regularly. I know um, he wasn't going to score six games in a row all year, but he did have that run in December. If they can somehow find a way to get a centerman in to play with him, I think you got a 30 goal guy for sure. And Mm -hmm. if he's one of the guys who's up in a year, you can talk extension on July one, maybe a guy that's been at center suppressing some offensive value is a good time to lock in. He's been a good pro. He's done whatever they've wanted. Yep. Playing the fourth line, playing the first center, center, the first, whatever. Here's some new yep. wingers and all that. He has done everything yep. that they've asked. And I dare say has done a great job at all. of it. The question will be, which wingers are you keeping? Which do you move? Cause you're going to have to make decisions um, to move on from wingers. There's too many already. And you haven't uh, got a Pelche up and you do have Coronado in the top nine now only because Majapani is out. Uh, there's just too many wingers. It's a really inter- interesting discussion about like, Three, four years out. If that's when you're going to be good again, and that might be fast track, but if that's when you're contending, where is Igor then? Do you want him then? What kind of a number can you get him on? Or is this a guy that's just, hey, I just want to feel the market? And it's like, okay, well, let's get you back in the wing, score a ton, and we'll move you to the deadline, just like, you know, might be the situation with Kuzmenko. Have you, can you hear what's like my voice? Your stupid croc eating video. Hmm. Alligator, yeah. Whatever. It was the gator they cooked. <sighs> Cooking show. Like, I blew my voice box out. Gagging on that. Stupid. Like, uh, Yeah, he's, uh, he's fighting. I just muted this mic now. Mackenzie Weger. He's had uh, two goals, two assists in his last three games. He is at 18 goals. He's back on power play one, I think I saw. Will Mackenzie Weger get to 20? God, to 20 be a huge number. Right? Is it like Geo and Fanuf? That's like the last 25 years or for 20 years? Hit. Guys to get 20? I don't even try to think of Geo. I mean, did Geo get that one to. year? I feel like he got the 20, the Vesna, or sorry, the Norris year. Damn. I don't know. Geo, I'll pull no. it up. I'll pull Geo, it up. No. But I, I'd love to see it. He's on a bit of a heater here. Why not? He had 21 <laughs> in. Uh, 15, 16. Norris year. If Gotta I'm not year. saying that correctly. Had 17 one year, but yeah, 21 for sure. And then Dion uh, had 20, like his second or third year in the league. Yeah. Um, and then he just decided to rock field goals on the power play for the rest of his time in Calgary. Just like, over the glass, for enough yeah. misses high. You're like, buddy, on net. On one, net, please. One T clappers. Yeah, off one T clappers. Um, no rebounds when it's over the net, yeah. Dion. I'm just having to clear my throat. Uh, okay, so is that was that a yes or no? Nine I'll games. Say yes, it's a feel good. I, I know the statistically that's probably the least likely thing, but I'll jump on the yes because he's just feeling it right now. And there's lots of ice for Mackenzie Weger right now, and I think he is back on power play one. There you go. Uh, side note: mm. uh, Kids are off school this week. Yours are. Yeah, I've got okay because I had last week. Yeah. Well, one uh, I had <laughs> weird. One of them gets two weeks off. She was off off last week and is off this week. Now the other uh, dummy in grade 10, he's off. My wife or slash we have set up screen limits, screen time limits on his phone or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that the woman that you live with only so much a day. Right. And I don't know what the number is, but it's it's enough. She's getting enough. I just got a I got a request actually 20 minutes ago. Yeah. For more screen time, screen time. So he's used up the entire day's worth. It's not noon yet. By 1130 (laughs) a.m. That's what's happening at my house. And this is day one of the week? Well, he's they went and did, did their thing. They're back. They got back last night. So Oof. there's probably, I'm thinking there's probably some dog poo that could be picked. I know the kit, there's dishes. And, oh, he'd be jacked the, for that, Dean. That's a great yeah. idea. There's probably some things around the house that definitely could be done. There's laundry for sure that could be done. Or just lay and fart in your bed Yeah, and watch YouTube all day. <laughs> In the last 18 seasons, Dion had 20 in 05-06, and you nailed it 21 in 15-16 for Giordano. 
Uyghur could join that exclusive club. The only other guys that did it was in the 90s and 80s, and that's McKinnis, Suter, and Reinhardt. McKinnis did it like six times, Suter twice, Reinhardt once. Get in there, Weeks. Career high of eight before this year. How about that? Is that right? Yes. Eight goals. Uh, I, I don't know if Akbad said 20 before. Like That would be... I knew it was a career year, but I I also knew that this was a guy that had some offense in his game prior to coming here. That's he had 36 helpers um, two years ago in Florida with his eight yeah. goals, so 44 points. He's already matched that this yeah. year, the points, and is more than doubled the goals total. Okay, more than so doubled a career high. So you will say you're saying he will hit 20 goals. That's two it's a feel good. I, I'm going to next... play the heartstrings. Yeah. So you don't really feel it, or you do? Yeah, I, I, like I like I said earlier. If you're just I'm, going by yeah. odds, it's the least likely to happen. But I think he's just looks like a guy that's feeling it right now. Yeah. Why not? Forty Coleman does it, and I'm Igor. I'm saying that. So twenty nine goals for Coleman. He hits. He hits thirty. Sharon yep. Govich needs two to thirty. You're saying no. And Uyghur needs two goals to get to twenty. You're saying yes. I need yours now. I'm not done. Uh, Forty four oh, for Uyghur. Can he get six in the next nine to get to fifty? I'm gonna say no. Uh, yeah, he's got four points in his last three games. It's on a heater. Yeah, he's on a heater. Probably one uh, thing's interesting because they had Miramanov there for a while. Um, so that th- th- there, there could be a chance there, but then again, like this power play just scored three in the same game wild. Um, I don't know. They had three in three week stretches at points this year. So I don't know yeah. that the power play remains hot. And I don't know how to feel about it. I, why not play Miramanov? Play him 20 minutes a night, which they've been doing. Give him power play time. This is the time to learn what you have, even though I don't know that he classifies as a youngster because he's no. like six months younger than Inexperienced, Noah not young, yeah. But that's if they signed him to that two-year deal before he took to the ice, the thought is with the shot and that, that maybe you've got something there. I, I don't know. I'm not up in arms about it, but I... Oh, the deal is a low risk. He makes one point two something. Just the power play time. You 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 brought up the power play time. Just using him on the power play. I guess it's fine. I'm kind of leaking confidence that he's a power play specialist. I would think uh, at this point he looks like a guy that's comfy on power play too. And you know, if he wants to go ahead and be the best guy at it, sure. I just think Anderson's better. If this team's in a playoff line, he's not power play one. And And you talked about it. You know, Rasmus Anderson is a guy that I don't know that he's been public, but he wants power play time for sure. And I'm not, I'm guessing Mackenzie Weger is happy getting power play time for sure. So, uh, do I think, yeah, I think, I think Coleman gets to 30. Okay. I think Sharon Govich does get two goals in the next nine. Sure. And my thinking is they're going to, the Flames, everybody's going to want him to get this. The coach, teammates, I don't, not to say, I, I, does he have a bonus? I don't know. But no, that's yeah. that's one of those things that to be a 30 goal guy, I think everyone's going to work to get him that. I think Uyghur gets to the 20 goals as well. Um, and you know what? what the hell? I'm gonna six points in the next nine games. I'm gonna say Uyghur. I say he all of them hit it. Well, and here's here's the thing that, that helps in all these guys' favor. Like there's gonna be a lot of mean nothing games. The two Anaheim games are mean nothing games. Yeah. Uh the Arizona game is gonna be a mean nothing game. The Sharks, there's two of those. Those are mean nothing games. Like, you know, and, you and not just you mean might nothing see games that aren't, yeah, just like just defensive oh, look porous. at this defense or this goalie. Yeah. Shitty teams that yes. you could shitty teams and bad goalies is what you could you have could, here. Yeah. So so yeah, I'll say across the board. I think everything and I, maybe there are some other things. I just kind of glanced at that quickly this morning. Yeah. Um they're close. As far as uh milestones or whatever you want to call it. Uh, we talked at the beginning of the year. Who could you put in pen down for 30 goals? And it was like, oh boy. Yeah. Like you thought maybe Lindholm, but uh, he didn't have, he only had 24 last year, I want to say. Pospisil is two away from 10. I mean, it's squinting, but 10 yeah. in your rookie year would be pretty great for that guy. Well, a number of games would be crucial there too. He's, what's he at? 50? 54. Max? Yeah. He's played 54 games. And where, where's uh, Nazem at? Is he at 24, 25 here? He's at 24 goals yeah. and 63 points. He had 26 last year, I want to say. Yeah, I'm not uh, top of top of my head, and that's kind of it. Now, and then you look at goaltenders. Anything for Wolf is great, and for Markstrom, it's yeah. You know, I don't know what. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how to feel about Markstrom. I don't know how. I don't know how he feels about life right now. Well, I think you probably 
have nine games, you're probably going to play in four or five of them. You focus on those, and then you have the awkward conversation with Connie at the end of the year. And how that goes, I don't know. But I, I think we all have a hunch that if you look at this, where the team's at in their life cycle and where Jacob is in his career, there's probably better fits for both sides. Wolf has a 3.23 goals against an 893 save percentage. Can you get over nine? And I don't know. Yeah, and I'm not too worried about the, the yeah. raw numbers. The adjusted stuff would be more important. When you're rolling Hanley and Ahochik and Pahal and Miramanov, like that's not a NHL decor. That's a team down the stretch kicking tires on young players. Younger Huberto, players. Uh, 46 points. So he Jesus. is four away from 50, which cool. is not, again, not something you're going to be bragging about. What was uh, last year? We were so like, oh, my God, how bad could he be? Is 55 last year? 55 yeah. last year, 15 goals, 40 assists. He is, um, well, might be less. <laughs> and it, I was going to say, and it feels like he's been better this year in a way. Well, the I, second half for sure. But um, yeah, if you were, well, I mean, we had Frank on in the summer before the season started. He's like, oh, I think 90 point Huberto. And it's like, whew, halfway is where he's at right now with yeah. nine games left. So does he get four in the next nine? To get to 50 let's look at his game log i think it's kind of been closer to a point per game since the new year and that tells you how ugly the first half was but still get it's still 46 yeah oh like God. that's how gross the first half was right Yeesh. i'll say he gets there but i'm not impressed yeah. with 50. no no and the team isn't and he probably isn't and nor should you be quite frankly but so there you go Ending the show on a high note, some positivity, although the Huberto wasn't as... Everything else was really kind of like, hey, get, get some goals here. Get Here's the points. good news. He's not dropping by 60 points off last year's total. Because mm. you can't... He's not going to get minus five points this year. Uh, Jack, do you, why don't you show us that one thing? We started it last year. The inaugural event happened last year. Well, maybe. And we're bringing it, we're bringing it, we're bringing it back. We're bringing it. We're bringing it back. That's right. Yes. It is the now. It's the inaugural. No, like I just because it's this, the inaug because inaugural is the first. That was last year. Yeah. I don't think you say annual until is it the third one? The third because uh. it's inaugural. The second, and then the third. You've now done it two years, so now it's an officially an annual event. See, I thought it was a second annual, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know the uh, proper. Yeah, I don't know if you have a second here. annual. It's probably beside the point. I'm probably, uh, you know, it's not the focus of what we're telling you. It is going to, it's it's back. The barn burner playoff draft. Last year, you talked about a banger. We went oh, to the Gray Eagle Resort and Casino. We had a ballroom decked out. We had the big screens going. We had tables galore. We had some food, some drinks, some laughs. You and I were on the mic crushing everybody for their dumb dumb picks it's pretty good and we're doing it again friday april 19th this is the perfect pocket it's a friday night we're back at the gray eagle resort and casino it says we're live live at the gray eagle resort wait, wait, it won't be tape delayed it will be live no, there if you're there if you are if, we'll if be live gonna, and in person not tape yeah, delayed gonna buy a table it'll be live as we do it in support of kids sport once again because it's all about the kids for That's the kids team that's what we care about it's all about us. It's about the kids. Um, last year, completely sold out. We expect, once again, this is going to be a complete sellout. In fact, uh, we've had a pretty good return rate on this. Yes. So um, A lot of teams left. Get in there. So what, what would we say? So the doors open at 6, Friday, April 19th. We realize it's not that far away, but it's it's a perfect spot because of where the season ends. And did they move yes. the date of the... the so the, here's the deal. The, the season ends Thursday, the 18th. Yeah. The playoffs start Saturday the 20th. So you know who's in, you know who's out. There's no guesswork. You're not coming in. Oh, the, the series started. I, 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 Jesus, Toronto lost 8 nothing. I don't, do I want Leafs or not? No, no. That's this right. is the one day between the regular season and the playoffs. And it'll be a banger like last year. 16 teams, Dean. So everyone can get a theoretical starting goalie, just like 16 teams in the NHL. Correct. Yeah. Postseason, you will have eight, I believe, people per team. And each team will sit at a table like the real draft and come to the podium to make their first round selections. And uh, Dean and I will be on the mic for rounds uh, two and beyond to make fun of people selecting Stefan Nosen, even though last year he probably didn't deserve to get He probably didn't fun deserve of. it, yeah. yeah. And no one drafted Bobrovsky last year. Believe and me. no one drafted Aiden Hill either. That is true. 
So, you know, there's, there's, there's ways to win. Village sure. Honda won the inaugural. They'll be back defending their title. Very nice. And uh, again, I think they donated their, their prize right back to kids sport. Yeah, they did uh, for first place because they're huge, huge supporters of kids sport and great humans and better than us. All well, and things. you know what else they did is no. they felt shame. Because like a few teams that night, they drafted someone in whatever, what round, whatever, eight, yeah. 10, 12, someone that had already been drafted that night. Yeah. So you get a solid beating, a verbal beating from everyone in the room, including Ryan and I. Lambasted. And uh, Anthony, of course, uh, we, we're very embarrassed. Uh, we're, we're sorry. We'd like to make another, we'll make an additional uh, donation to kids sport. <laughs> so they actually, that, that when we tell you about good people, that's good people. So Village Honda is coming back. We do have some people coming back as well, but there is room for you. Uh, contact kids sport. We're going to have things nailed down here, but I guess right now, is that safe to say the easiest way to go about this um, is to contact kids sport Calgary? Yes, there's a link uh, that uh, Jack has put in the comments. You can throw it up on the screen. There's also Eden at Kidsport. Uh, uh, just flash that email address. If you, .ca, thank you. Uh, Eden is in charge of registration for the event as well. I believe a former bobsledder, Olympian. So say hi there you go. and sign your team up. Uh, Eden at KidsportCalgary.ca. Secure your spot. Same price as last year, and uh, it'll be a ton of fun. I think the night ended up spilling into the casino area where I, was it you that was on stage high kicking with the band uh no ryan that, that was you no because i remember you said the, the week after that someone yeah. was on stage high no kicking i was the band. i was there right uh, the aforementioned anthony was on the floor laughing so he was not on the stage it he was, was on the floor. no no it was ryan it was you that went up on the stage bar at the gray eagle and started singing and high kicking with the band Yes. Okay. Jogging my memory. Thank you. That is correct. Yeah, I was right. invited on stage by the uh, Canada Canadian Music Award winning band to right. join them in the festivities. Fox of the yes. Now the email address, just for if you're just listening, it's Eden, E-D-E-N. So Eden at kidsportcalgary.ca. She will get back to you. They will set things up. And again, the money being raised for kids sport. Lots of questions. Uh, we will have a meal. There'll be some drinks uh, oh, yeah. as well that you can purchase. And uh, KQ is wondering if there will be any alligator on the menu. At this point, I cannot confirm alligator. No, uh, I think we had a nice burger bar, some we burger did, yeah. and, and and salads and some stuff like that. Just and there was cow, some drinks and all that. Alligator. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll tell you, uh, this will be my, my vow. Yes. I will oversee the menu to ensure that it's for public consumption. Gator free. Ryan is not, that's not Ryan's wheelhouse. No, it's not. I will handle the uh, the food prep and at least the food selection for what we're going to be doing. Again, but, I'm telling you, you need a cooking show. But thank you to the Gray Eagle for having us back once again. We had a hell of a good time. Didn't we? Sheldon's team was no good, though. Yeah, Sheldon, pull up your socks. Well, it is about Sheldon. You know, the events runs the event center. Gray Eagle, great spot. We love it there. Doesn't know a lick about hockey. Come on, Sheldon. Get better. Doesn't know a lick. Eden, E-D-E-N at kidsportcalgary.ca. There you go. Bam. Uh, uh, is our long, long-armed, bad-shouldered friend going to be in attendance? Do we think? Uh, he had said he is, but uh, I also think that would make it about a sixty-forty that he is. Right. I'll take those odds. Yeah, 60s. that's a big number for him. <laughs> yeah, sixties are real good. That's uh, hasn't booked his flight uh, yet. I know that. So, right. Yeah, that is true. Let's take a look at the Betway bets of the day. Betway, hey, how about it? You can get a free bet up to 200 bucks if your first bet loses. Damn. Create a new account, scan the QR code on the screen, and redeem your bonus. You place your bet, no minimum amount required. And if the bet loses, you'll get a refund up to $200. You can then use that money to bet on your favorite sports. This offer is only available outside Ontario. So let's do it. Get that QR code. Why wouldn't you do that? Do you uh, here's deal? where I'm going. Boston at Nashville. Oh! Uh, Nashville, they were on that unbelievable, what was it? 15 0 and 2 by the time it was all said and done. 16 0 and 2, I want to say, yeah. Since they've lost twice back to back losses. Dear. Predator. So it's not, uh, I try and go plus money, but I'll take the minus 115 for Boston. Maybe Nashville, the shines come off a little bit. Give me the Bruins minus 115. And Chicago at the what? Islander. Uh, the Chicago Blackhawks, you may remember they beat the Flames. Always do, it seems. 
And I told you at that time, this is really kind of the best part of the season, the schedule. The Hawks are playing their best hockey right now. They've won three of their last four. They've won Jeez. six of ten. And Jeez. the Islanders, there's nothing special about the Islanders. Yeah, they're I'm higher in standing, not. but they're not making the playoffs. And they are sputtering and leaking oil. It's a plus 200 for a money line win for Chicago. It's a bit of a reach, but I like the plus 200 compensating for the other one, you know? So let's win both yeah, sure. and be real happy about it. Chicago money line plus 200. I am dancing on the Ducks and Flames from Calgary. Kuzmenko's look pretty good of late, Dino. Why not jump on an anytime goal for Kuzi in what could be a loose affair? It's the Ducks in town. I don't know what the interest level is going to be from the visitor. Curious and, if that line stays together because it was Kadri with Pospisil and Kuzmenko. They I moved like Zary to the Sharon Govich line. Yep. And I agree. I think between uh, a little spark there, a little bit, a little bit, like it. Someone had noted it. I, I wish I could give credit. I can't recall whether it was Afterburner or on the broadcast, but we've we, like, is it Kadri getting the kids going? Is it Zary that spurred on Kadri? What was, was Pospisil's role? Well, now Pospisil's got Kuzmenko going. Like, maybe this is the piston that the the catalyst for to get other guys going because he plays with pace. He's a great F one, loosening up pucks for his teammates, and he's a, he's a smart offensive player. I don't think he's a gifted offensive player, but he seems to know where to go to help create offense. Uh, it seems like Pascal Kuzmenko's worked well on opposite yeah. flanks. I like that bet. I like that one. And then, I, don't like, I don't like this one as much. You're not going to see Zegras at plus 187 for an assist like almost ever in his career, so I'm just going to say, hey, maybe it's 6-4 and he gets some measly helper in there. Plus 187 for a point for an assist from Zegras. Uh, good luck, Ryan. Thank you, Dave. And good luck to all of you with your Betway bets. And again, if you've not already... Become a, uh, a a proud Betway uh, member. Uh, get the free bet up to 200 bucks if your first bet loses. Create a new account, scan that QR code, redeem the bonus, then place your bet, no minimum amount. And if the bet loses, you're going to get a refund of up to $200. Use that money then to spin it back on for betting on your favorite sports. This offer only available outside of Ontario. Hiya! 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 You're waiting for an offer. There's an offer right there. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. <clears throat> He's such a jerk. What's he what shaking your head about? Oh. Still, that gator, really? It, it's, it, I'm, I'm fine, but it, I blew, like. <laughs> Stupid. Why are you such a tender tummy? What's going on? It's not a tender tummy. It's, uh, I just both threw up. Yeah, that's what's I got tender. a sore throat now. Yeah. Uh, we can do, uh, we can do DoorDash. We can do final thoughts on the program. I do have what's on the menu for you. It's, we got do some you? bangers. Yeah. All right. Well, it's DoorDash. You know, we love it. You know, we lose it. We use it because, uh, it's so, it's too convenient. Damn you, DoorDash. Thank you. So DoorDash. all I got to do is get the app and then I go on there and I could, it's groceries or food from like pharmacies, bakeries, whatever. And it just shows up at my door. Ah, uh, you know me well, DoorDash. Well played, DoorDash. Well played. Checkmate, uh, DoorDash. For a limited time, our people, our folks, get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you enter the promo code NATION25. NATION25. So what's on the menu for DoorDash? Well, we've got some bangers. Boston, Nashville, you've got some bets in there. I think this is a good one. The hottest team in the NHL until a couple of games ago all year. How about an 18-game point run? That was the Preds, and the Bruins are right there vying for a President's Trophy amongst uh, the best in the NHL in the regular season thus far. Washington, Buffalo, it's a little less sexy of a game, but it means a lot for the Caps who can really solidify or work towards solidifying that three seed in the Metro rather than being a wild card. And for the Sabres, I mean, inverse standings, Get her going, fellas. Come on now. Even just an overtime loser point, something. Give us something here, Sabres. Come on now. Uka Pekka Luka, and let's go. Sage Thompson, stay on that heater. Let's go. Um, that one at 5 o'clock. Bruins Preds is at 6. Nightcap tonight, Vancouver in Vegas. That's a real good battle that could be a round two matchup in the Pacific Division, potentially. And we'll close out with the offensive juggernaut, the Toronto Blue Jays in Houston to face uh, Valdez and the Astros. That is a 6-10 first pitch. That's what's on the menu. In fairness, I don't know, and I'm just going off the top of my head, and I have no facts to back it up, but I have to feel that no team has ever been no hit in back-to-back -back games. I would go with your gut on that. I feel like that was... 
they're due for a hit today. Yeah, I'll take the over on 0.5 hits. There you go. <laughs> Which I don't know if that's paying. It's not going to pay well. much. No. Like minus 10,000 or something, yeah. With Double Dash or DoorDash, you can order from multiple restaurants or stores in the same delivery without additional delivery fees. How about it? Everyone's going to get what they want and need and love it with DoorDash. Dash that for the win. Uh, tonight. Pike and I. On uh, no, excuse me, my gold and I on afterburner. Go. My gold, gold, Jerry, gold. A little afterburner tonight, ducks and flames, seven o'clock. So we're thinking probably you know, nine forty-five ish. Little afterburner right here on the Flames Nation YouTube account, and then of course, if you're heading to work in the morning, and you're like oh, oh, that game was last night. I watched. It. I wonder. I wonder what Pinder thought. About uh, about that game, you go to where you get your podcast, your Apple, your Spotify, your Google, whatever it is you're doing, you there download it, it, put it in your ear holes on your way to work. Fresh, fresh burner content for you. Pump that the, right uh, into your vehicle. Put it right in. No tax on it. Free. Free. Pump it. We did not. Im- we did not put a carbon tax on our podcasts. Correct. Free to begin with. Yeah. Free today. I mean, I can't tell you about what the world looks like in a couple of years, but to this point, tax-free. Tax-free. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, thoughts Sting. on this game tonight? Because I know you're big, uh, you're big Johnny Inverse standings. I, uh, I well, I don't know. I mean, the only thing that would give you hope in the Inverse standings is that somehow, some way, the Flames seem to think they're much better than these bottom dwellers and then continually lose to them, i.e. Chicago, Columbus. Out of those two teams alone, they've lost. Yeah. Four out of five games. Uh, they have beat Anaheim once. It was before Christmas. It was a while ago. They will see them again. They've lost to San Jose this year. If the Flames think they're too good for the Ducks, they are not. If the Flames go out and work and play well, they probably win. So uh, where are your heads at, guys? Where's his heads at? I do. Uh, yeah, I, I think that the, the Ducks may have a say in what this game is tonight. Okay. What what with their one win in their last uh, thirteen games or whatever the hell it is, man. If, yeah, it can't end soon enough for the uh, Ducks. Yeah, the ducks. I mean, you thought it was bad for the Flames last few weeks. They've had a couple of good wins here or there, but yeah. I mean, the Ducks. This has been a. They got off to a decent start in October, but basically November on, it's been an absolute nightmare. And then, it, yeah, yeah, Adverbeek must be just steam pouring out of his ears. For the Flames, it felt like Saturday's win over the Kings. I mean, it was it was decisive. They out, outshot Very them good. badly. Des- probably deserved more than a four two victory. Um, but I do. It, I mean, who's to say? But it, 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 R- R- Rasmus Anderson talking after the game about how this is it's nights like this where you're proud to be a part of this team. I wonder yeah. if there's a little bit of getting over something, not just the the losing skid, but just. We're, we're not making the playoffs. We have to say that it's going to take a miracle, as he said, but we know we're not making it. But there's still reason to have some pride in the game. Yeah. And it's not just about me being disappointed. I can't take my foot off the gas because that guy there and that guy there and that guy there isn't. And I, I owe it to those guys to do what I can do. So, well, And I thought they played well against St. Louis in St. Louis. They kind of got screwed a bit by the Zebras who were off, I think, after that one. Or no, what right. it was... It's holiday the next day, but we did afterburner that night, and that wasn't a bad effort. That didn't look anything like what we saw in Chicago, which was yeah. a bad effort. So it's two good efforts in a row, and if you can make it a third, you probably get two points. This will uh, – are you sitting down? Yeah, I am. Yeah. This will stun you. Eh. I'm going to the game tonight. What? Like, yeah, do you – I, okay, hang on, hang on. I have questions. Yeah. You bought one of those Apple VR things and you're virtually going to the game from the comfort of your own home. No. No, I uh, I mean, they don't do hard copy tickets anymore. But I have tickets to the game and uh, I'm going to go to the Saddle Dome and sit somewhere and watch the the, the hockey game. Uh, Out of my house. is Now, you've been to how many games this year? Yep. One or two? Zero. I'm, at, I, I'm, I'm not. I... 
did we go to a game at the start of the year like a charity thing? I think we did a preseason, didn't we? Yeah, we went to a preseason game against it was or was Johnny it Winmick? No, you know what it was? Wasn't it right after the Zadorov trade? It was Zadorov's first game as a Canuck, wasn't that what it was? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's one. No, I did leave part way through. Did leave early, yeah. But it was those kids. Remember those kids were so loud, they were like screaming, and everybody was like, Oh, hey, come on. I don't remember that, no. I mean, it's a crowded sporting event. Of course, people are making noise. Hmm. Um, anyway. So it's been a while. I will say this. Prepare for a lot of people to recognize you and tell you they love the show. Those are our boys and girls going to the saddle home 41 nights a year. Um, and I'll say to those people, make sure, don't be fooled. Don't be put off by his, um, Krusty's probably the wrong word. Mm. Hey, maybe Krusty. Uh, just get get right in there and give Dino a hug. Give him a big bear hug. I'm very. If you uh, want to let him know how much you love the podcast. You got to give him a hug. The harder you squeeze, the more you love the show. I'm very um, amiable. I'm very uh, amicable. Amicable. When it's when it's when it's you know an event and there's people around, even though I may be having a slow burn inside. Yeah. Hating every minute of it. Mm -hmm. I will probably come off as. Uh, Likeable. He uh, he's better in public than uh, you'd think. Listening to him talk about how much he dreads being in public, quite a bit better. Bring three pence for all. That's not going to be necessary. Trust me, that's not going to be necessary at all. Um, God damn it! Uh, this is uh, Turner says. Lol, you guys run Flames Nation, but never go to games. Well, welcome to the show, Turner. Uh, you guys run Flames Nation. Yeah, that's what we do. We run Flames. We Nation. run YYC. That's yeah. what we do. Yeah, yeah we run it. Uh, How can here's you talk the thing. about the game if you weren't there? We do a thing called Afterburner. It's a post-game show, Correct. and yeah. it happens after games. Right. And when you're at the games, it's hard to be in studio. Okay, so that's... But in addition to that, Pinder goes to games. You were just at the ga the Kings game. Yeah, been well, a Saturday. decent you run. Go to Kings, Abs, uh, Vegas. So you can, uh, you can be judgy all you'd like, Turner. You can judge. Jenna. Maybe I'm just not as big a fan as you. I don't have as many jerseys as you. Oh, Turner. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so tomorrow on the program, Jamie McLennan oh, will good join news, us. Yeah. We will talk about this matchup tonight, the Ducks and the Flames, as well, in theory, Rhett Warner from Florida. Now, if we have Rhett Warner, I expect an outstanding performance because vacation Rhett, very bubbly, in great moods. Uh, assuming the travel's hiccup free and he's, you know, settled into a hotel room and unpacked and he didn't lose his luggage, I think he'll be in great yeah. spirits. Soaking and understand, up, yeah, and understand, we will have no intel prior to showtime. No, we we'll don't have know. no idea whether he's no. there, where he is, how he is, or Still any of Buffalo it we until uh, the full theme, the full uh, start of the don't don't chick it bam find out when that runs tomorrow, and if, if we it. see his face or not, only then will we know if he's made it or if he's there. Now, what so, section are you in? So people wanted to know where they can hug you. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you I'm know. Sure. No, I don't. I, uh, I which don't. bowl? Uh, I, don't, I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't actually have. Uh, Who are you going with? It's not important, Ryan. You're going with beef? By myself. No, you're not. I'm you would gonna, not do that. I've, I've bought an entire section. You go I'm just going to sit by there yourself. by myself. I'm going go to have security set up. No. See you tomorrow, buddies. Yep.